That's a good thing to have added. Yep. Yeah. Dun, 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 and we're live! Hello. Hello, internet, and welcome to our stream of... I'm just tweeting about it. Um, welcome to our stream of Charterstone, designed by Jamie Stegmeier and published by Stegmeier Games. Oh! Yeah. Um, we're joined... By not special because they're here all the time, but we still love them. Guests John and Tony. Hello. Uh, Hello. So if you're not aware, Charterstone is a legacy style game, and this means that oh, the title's all drunk. Uh, <laughs> this means that uh, title. <laughs> every time you play the game, you will be modifying the game board or the cards, or something will happen so that basically you can never play the game as it once was. Um, the things that we do during the game will permanently modify it. Charterstone is designed to be played over 12 games total, and uh, we as a group decided we all kind of wanted to try and play it, so we all agreed to chip in and purchase the game, uh, and we're going to play it. And we decided to stream, because I have an internet show where I stream everything, uh, we decided to stream our very first game, and we're only going to stream our first game, and because this is a legacy game, there are some story elements that come on which, um, if you're going to be playing this game yourself, you might not want to be spoiled for you. So to help with that, we have a concept called Spoiler Dog. And our Spoiler Dog is over there. Steve will grab it when he comes back. But while we're playing, over on this screen where we normally are when we're playing, we have the, we have the concept of the Spoiler Dog. So when the Spoiler Dog picture is up, that means that... We are doing things that involve spoilers, and on this camera, when you see our little spoiler dog friend over there, that means we're discussing things which would be spoilerific. So there's that. If you've come to watch this not while it's live, I will say that um, we're going to kind of do the setup and the story reading, um, which I don't feel is super spoilerly. Like, the story element of what you're doing in the universe is a little spoilerly, but I think if you read, like, literally anything about this game you'll know about it so mm -hmm. take that with a grain of salt we can put spoiler dog down right now because we're not actually spoiling yeah. like, so you thinking. can you could even reuse the little title that says if spoiler dog is here on this camera not worried about it um so there's that we're gonna try and keep the spoilers to a minimum when the spoiler dog is not on the screen and then at the very end of the game after we play we're gonna talk about our feelings for the game and then we're gonna put stuff away and put spoiler dog away so that we are going to talk about how we feel about the game with no spoilers as much as we possibly can. All right. Which might be very difficult. Who knows? So, yeah. Um, if you are watching to kind of get a vibe of how to play, there's actually a fantastic how to play video that Watch It Played made. Um, you can go and watch that. Uh, I didn't put a link in the doobly-doo yet, but I will in post do that, Tiffany. Uh, so you can go and watch that. Also, if you read the rule book, you'll know it, that on the very first page it says they recommend people don't know the rules <laughs> when they sit down to play it. They actually recommend uh, at most one player either read through the rule book or watch the Watch It Played video to learn how to play, but otherwise everybody else discover the rules for the game as they start playing. So Steve is completely in the dark. I don't know if you are. Are you in the dark? No. A little bit. You know a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Tony and I have both watched the Watch It Play video, Tony more recently than I, and then I read the rule book mm. just in case. Um, but it's really funny because the rule book says, like, don't read me. Uh, <laughs> so that was really interesting. Don't read me as a rule book. Yeah. Use me as a reference guide. Don't, yeah, basically. <laughs> um, and that was, if, if you have this game, that's one of the things you'll notice is, like, all of the materials, including this, will say, like, don't read me unless you're specifically doing something. Like, there's an icon reference on the back of the rule book, and it says at the very top, don't read this, there's spoilers. Mm -hmm. So it's very much like you only want to look up specifically what you're trying to look up and try not to let your eyes wander. Um, on that note, I have completely disassembled this copy to bring it home from yes Essen, so I have seen probably more than I should. But... I have a short memory, and I was yeah. sick when I did it, so... It's an and we'll see, yeah. That, yeah. And we'll see if it confers any kind of advantage at all to have seen yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I saw all of Pandemic Legacy, because I unpacked it for my friend who was bringing it back oh. from Essen. And so I have experience unpacking Legacy games and then completely forgetting about everything inside. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, fugue state, well, if you so. don't read yeah. anything, then it's just, you know, moving components around. That's yeah. hard to glean anything from. Yeah. 
That's true. There's only been there's one component in this game that I learned about that I definitely don't think I should have learned about, and I'm trying hard to keep it a secret. Um, is it cool? I don't know what it will do. <laughs> I it, don't. I just know what it is. Is it the box you open if you lose four games in a row? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Can we spoil other legacy games in this? No. Yeah, we'll just start spoiling other games. Spoil we'll spoil, all the other... Well, spoiler talk is up. Like, we can spoil anything. Oh, <laughs> anything at all. <laughs> the movie. Yeah. Double the late, no. Recent <laughs> TV. <laughs> um, all right. But yeah. Thanks for the compliment on the shirt, Levi. Can we uh, check yeah. that back there? I actually got this at the first uh, NXT event. Uh, <laughs> the first NXT event that there was. So. Mad Boy says don't read the chat. Because uh, that's, that's also... That's that's also spoilers. Yeah, that's also spoilers. Right. <laughs> All right, um, so here we go. Let's get into this. So the very first thing, um, we're sitting in kind of unusual places than we would normally sit because uh, if you're familiar with Scythe, which is, the, which is another Jimmy Stigware, um, player color uh, has starting positions on the board, and so we each picked our preferred player color and then sat nearest to it. So, um, and then we're going to get our little boxes, I guess. Um, maybe not yet, but don't open them yet, but just get the box, basically. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Ah. Okay. So if somebody so, could hand me yellow, blue. don't open it. Just yellow. Hold on to it. So this what? is this is Purple our chest. And your so there's green. six characters. Okay. There's six charters, um, and they each have a chest. And there's things that we're gonna be writing on the chest, um, and there's stuff inside the chest, but we don't know about that yet. Then there is this very heavy. I have very nice pens that I'll pull out. That's insane. Yeah. Are, is there um, one pen? We have a very heavy box which has all of the cards in the Thunk. game. It's wow. very full cards. It's very full. Um, wow. The first thing you do for setup, the one thing is remove all of the shrink wrap from them. So I did that. Um, the shrink wrap was not easy to remove, but it's um, gone now. <laughs> The game does not come with crowns. It actually says in the rules that players will have to provide their own their own markers. Hmm. So that green Totoro case is a pencil case right there, and there's archival ink. No, not that one. That uh, one. Yeah, there's green arch or there's archival ink pens in there, and there should be one for every player color. So but actually, I'm gonna you be probably orange. wouldn't want to play this with like a ballpoint pen or a pencil. I mean, you could, yeah, but not but a you, pencil. Because you'd be. Yeah. Oh no no no! Don't you do, do those. Yeah, you don't want anything to no. so push down. Oh, these ones. Oh yeah. yeah. There you go. Got it. So there's there should a blue. be there, a blue, a purple, and maybe an orange. If there's yeah, a red or an orange. So, yeah, it might just be faster. Red. Black. Black. I have a lot of these. Lots of blacks. I have three different blacks. I really like these pens. These are micron pens. They're from. They're uh, the same Japanese color of company. black, though, right? There should be a tear. There's a purple oh, Pigma one. Micron O5. Maybe the teal. Very nice. No, it's the orange. Purple. Where's the teal? Oh, because you're purple. Right? I'll be yeah. I'll have black. Well, there's this teal. Well, you're blue. No, that's not a teal. So nobody Both of my teals It's like she thing. planned it. Um, I will look. I don't know where it is. I, that's the I blue. blue. I'm fine. He's like, did you take my marker? I have a green and teal someplace. I'll, I'll hunt. Poor John. Oh, I like black. Okay. All right. Uh, which one do you have? The five. That's a good one. Okay. okay. Never mind. Um, so then they say the very first thing is to pull out, extract card number one and read it. Extraction. Ta -da! All right. So is this? So do we need to go spoiler? in like repel in gonna, the middle of the night? We're gonna start getting into spoilers. Okay. Is this dog so time? I want to tell you what this is. Okay. So this is. Um, also, I, I also want to say in this game. Um, if you want to drop players, so let's say that something happens and we don't want to play with Steve anymore, we can kick him <laughs> out and use an automa for him. And there's rules for that in a separate rule book that we're not going to be playing with any automas during this stream because uh, we're all here. You could, even if you had four players, you could use automa for the other two charters if you so desire, but we are good. So, yeah. Um, okay. Now, her cheesy. so this is card number one, and there's a story on this card, and I am going to read this story, which means spoiler dog can come out. So if you don't want to know the story, this is just the story. No, bring up not. spoiler dog. Cena does not. Our real dog wanted to eat spoiler dog. Okay. <laughs> the immortal Forever King has selected six citizens of Green Gully to start a new village far from the Eternal City. 
congratulations for being chosen. Hey. We're being shipped off. <laughs> Your goal right. is to bring the greatest glory to the Forever King, so you may rule the village in his name. After spending all day flying over the kingdom, the Zeppelin sets down and the guards open the hatch for you and your companions. Unfold the game board, we did that, and put the objective mat and advancement mat next to the board. We did that. The purple one is the objective mat and the goldish one is the advancement mat. Locate and open the Chronicle rulebook. Peel the sticker off this card and affix it. There's a sticker on the card. I didn't even notice. Oh yes, gosh. the card like is a sticker. That's Locate cool. and open the Chronicle rulebook. Peel the sticker off this card and affix it to the indicated space, page six. Then place the card remnant in the archive. You will do this for all story and rule cards. Yes. Extract card two from the index. All right. So this said is page six. Story one. Story so one. So keep going. Those are all rules. There it story is. one. All right. Don't mess up. It's <laughs> part like, of the game. It's a dexterity game. I'm like, I'm not sure how to put it on because it's like not gonna fit exact. I'm gonna do it like just that. Just center it if you can. I'm gonna do it. That, so the, that's good. Just so the yeah, lines. The line banner up. Just, lines. Uh, up. Yeah, do the, the right line thing. doesn't line up with the. Oh, I no! ruined everything. Oh, it's terrible. Throw it away. Well, sorry, well now we need can't. a new copy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, if somebody wants to put that in the archive, I does the recharge pack uh, come with a new rule book? <laughs> Um, they do Probably. recommend Automan for two, but... Oh, Angela muted. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's right. If you don't want spoilers and you see Spoiler Dog, yeah, you should mute. Mm -hmm. That's entertaining uh, that they should mute while you're telling them to mute while they're muted. All right. Scriptorium and general supply. Muted. The sun is setting as you venture outside. <laughs> The location is a lush landscape of rolling hills, oh. patches of trees, and a babbling brook. The guards unload a number of mysterious crates and forbid you to open any of them, what? except for the one labeled the scriptorium. Open it Definitely. now! Oh, no, just stay here. It really is a uh, crate. It is great. Wow, it's baggy! Is... We get Yay! bags! <laughs> All right, that's the most exciting thing ever. You can never the have enough of those. The scriptorium Whoa. tuck box, yeah, is where you'll store global components from game to game. During the game, these global components, along with advancement cards, form the general supply, and they are limited as follows. 36 coins, 72 resource tokens, 12 each of metal, grain, wood, coal, clay, and pumpkin, one charter stone, one progress token, and four plastic bags. That would be a good puppy cam stream. This way, for spoiler people to watch. Four plastic bags. We'll just do a second stream. Thick coins. Yeah. Big thick metal coins. We don't need a bag for her, right? I got it. But we can like equi equi equi. Good job, Tip. Equi equestri equestri two and two. two, and two Equestrially. Okay. Uh, this is now story two. So this goes on the story two slot. I'll do that in a minute. Uh, and then we do story three. So you got like. Does, does it come with one recharge? It does, not. it does not. So you need not. you need to recharge separately. If you want to put the dog down for a second, put the dog down. Gold. Okay. So chat asked if this comes with a yeah, recharge pack. This does not come with a recharge pack. So the recharge like pack, which a, I didn't mention, the board is double sided. Yeah, kind of and there's zero differences yeah. between the sides. So if you want to play Cold. again, you buy the recharge oh, pack, which there. comes with oh. more like unstickered cards. And then you can play again with the other side of the board. We did not purchase a recharge pack. There's the iron. So there we go. All right, spoiler dog back. And, dun, dun, dun. and the pumpkins. Pumpkins. There we go. Not just food, but pumpkins specifically. Okay, the group gathers around a large rock. You recognize it as a charter stone, just like the one at the center of the Eternal City. Is that this? Yeah, that's our charter stone. Boom. Wow. The village is divided into six charters, each with six hexagonal plots. Each player should now adjust their seating position to permanently select their charter. Claim your charter chest, the box with your charter emblem. The text on it will be explained later. Then open it to reveal these components. Two regular workers, one big and one small, one victory, part, victory point token, and 12 influence tokens. Yay. Extract cards, something and something. Alright, so the okay. little flower thing is your victory point marker. There you go. Don't mind a story two sticker? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, now I need to. Oh, they're so cute! 
Sorry. Is this one our victory point? Yes, the flower yeah. shaped one. Okay. Yep. Somebody put that over there. All right, I now need to extract cards 200 to 205. A big one and a little one. Yeah, I figured that out because the the, dog's the, the thing is a flower. Ah, the zero is a flower. The game suggested you do the right thing without you having to yeah. know it. Uh, oh my goodness! I'm happy we picked our colors before we got to see the characters. The characters oh are dear. cute. I just messed it up. <gasps> now John's ruined it. That's right. Sticking. So now we have whoever most <laughs> recently messed it up. <laughs> has Steve, to go left. this is your adorable persona. <gasps> what? This is Tony's adorable persona. Oh. This is I'm I'm so I'm so Steve's like partner. <laughs> we should we should get together later. We're a cute little old couple. All right. Uh, and then John's persona. Aww. Oh, that's awesome. I like it. What do we do with the extra ones? You I guess we them. put them in you, their boxes. You tear them up yeah. and put them in the archive. No, just put them in their boxes. I guess if we needed an Otoma or something. Yeah. Okay. Now we each write our names on our persona. Oh, we need to come up with names, huh? Each player names their persona. Whoa. Right. On, this is who you are for the campaign. Wow. This is like a role player. Steve's so excited. This, this is a big, uh, big moment here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, now I'm really in trouble. Oh man, I just this need is to be like guitar. this is like the name forever. Does that need to be stickered. Yes. You can see my terrible job of stickering. This is like the name. <laughs> <laughs> I did. You did most. a great job. <laughs> oh. Is it in the area. general region? Then you're fine. It was, but it's so wrinkly. Eh. I was trying to get. All I was right. trying to line up the line. The French the line judge line is the only one who would rate you area. poorly, so I think you're okay. What am I gonna name? Six point one. Did you name yours already? Yeah. Wow. Steve's very he, fast. Steve's fast. He's not. His imagination makes mine look tiny and mm. feeble. Hmm. It's cute. <laughs> Aww. I don't know what. What is your name, sir? Is it Steve? Can I name him Steve? <laughs> that will be very confusing. That would be very. He confusing. has no beard, so he's not a future is Steve. Right. Are you looking something up too? <laughs> I don't. He's very nice. Uh, yeah. I, mm, naming's hard. It is. It is. Unless you just see the first thing All right. in front of you and name it after that. Did you name it Eggers? No. Door frame? No. <laughs> <laughs> Curry. Yeti, Yeti microphone. No. Tiffy. Uh, that would be really confusing. <laughs> yeah. If she oh, had a Steve. Rex! Hi, Rex! Rex is my best friend from middle school who apparently just moved to Portland, well, moved to Portland and didn't tell me about it uh, until recently. Hi, Rex! Welcome hey, Rex. to our house! You you should come to our house in real life, but not right now. Um. Yes, the dogs will make the stream aware of your presence quite yeah, well. Yeah, crazy... <laughs> I think I'm gonna. Oh, John. I know what I'm gonna Uh-oh. name him. I know what I'm gonna name him. All right, I'm inspired by all of those wonderful Twitter things uh, indicating that I am the baddest of the party. I don't know if the these party. markers will work well on this. They're, so. Just don't touch the ink until it dries. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be, so it's gonna be a, ch- a challenge. Otherwise, yeah. we can do <laughs> until um, it's archived. You know. Yeah. So my character is a Drastos, Ooh. which means one not inclined to run away in Greek. Ooh, oh, nice. that's a good one. Very nice. What's your name? Judy McPamplemoose. <laughs> nice. Okay, Judy. Do we need a do we need a do we need last names? I didn't give mine a last name. I didn't give mine a last name. You did? Yeah. Okay, I'm the only one with that one. I don't have a last name. I'll come up with a last name. I mean it could be like Madonna or Prince. I don't have a last name. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Or a, a draft. I'm Fran Japan. Fran Japan. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fran Japan. Oh. Fran Japan. Um, Fran Japan. We've been obsessed with the Great British Bake Off. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love the Great British Bake Off. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be Lewis Goomba. She looks is like a baker. Because <laughs> he looks Goomba. like like a little portly Mayor Lewis from Stardew Valley. Mm-hmm. Lewis Goomba. Right. Lewis Goomba nice. is my character's name. I don't have a lot of space left for names. I don't. I, I don't think a drost. I mean, if it's anything like uh, you know the Greek goddess and goddesses of antiquity, they didn't often have last names. No, they didn't. They were just yeah. Ichi isn't barking Zeus right Jones now. Or... <laughs> Jones? No, he's definitely a Smith or a Johnson. Yeah. Johnson. He's absolutely yeah. a Johnson. Zeus Johnson? Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, next. Or maybe Adrastos was the middle name. It's like J. Yeah. J. Adrastos the third. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. 
<laughs> okay, it's about to get really serious. Ooh. Uh -oh. It's about to get really serious. Uh, when the guards leave, you scout your charter for your first charter building. <gasps> the village will rely on access to basic resources to survive, grow, and prosper. Oh, goodness. Extract cards 5 through 10 from the index and give each player the card that matches their charter. Set aside the inactive ones for a moment. These cards feature basic resource buildings. Or replacement spots. Yeah. These, uh, these cards feature basic resource buildings where players will place workers to gain one of the indicated resource. Each player removes the building sticker from their corresponding card and affixes it permanently oh no. <gasps> to the any again. plot in their charter. Buildings must be oriented in the same way as all other buildings on the board. Each player keeps their constructed building card face up in front of them as they'll need it later. Wow. So what is defined as our charter? The zone the, like, six of our tiles. color. Yeah, the yeah. six. Okay. Those six spaces. So we can only build six. And distance doesn't matter. I think I, I'm imagining a where you put it. Distance. Where you put it doesn't matter as far as I know, but they want them all oriented the same way. So this is up yeah. no matter where you're stickying it. Okay, so... Um, I think that's just for legibility purposes. Yeah. There? Oh, no, you're nope. not. Steve. Thank you. Ooh, the forest. The I get garden. fields. Oh, I'm in charge of the food, y'all. I make the I'm, food. I'm pumpkin man. Oh, nice. I'm in charge of the cave. Um, It doesn't say what we do, do with an active charter. It's the garden. Right now. Yes, he makes bats. Yeah. So we'll it's like out. a factory oh, that makes bats. We'll Widgets. That's what it is. But yeah, garden. Oh, nice. I have a garden. See you, Mad Bona. All right, so we need to... I am uh, the pumpkin king. Need to sticker these, huh? Do you make pumpkins? I am the pumpkin king. <sighs> Between the two of us, we're in charge of the food. All right. That seems accurate somehow. <laughs> I'm going to put... You generate it, I dispose of it. Oh, but we probably keep the card, because the card... We yes, do keep the card. Are. Yes, it's we a, do keep yes, the card. Yes, if you were listening to when I talked. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. All right, there we go. Good job, Sean. I did uh, it. I'm going to go... I I am having problems getting yeah, it. Yeah, I had to bend it and then. I had to bend, bend my it. card too. There we go. <laughs> Fortunately, my fingernails are long, so. Yeah, mine are pretty bad right now. <laughs> All right, I mine are next. too, but it doesn't seem to be helping. Hard. So maybe gonna, I should approach it from a different angle. Yeah. I'm gonna put mine as far from anyone else as I possibly can. Luckily, you're, you're placing yours uh, it's before me, so I can. Place mine on the border as close to yours as I can. <laughs> I'm kidding. Although, who knows? Maybe I will. Alright. This cave okay. is as close to the mountain as I could get it. So for the inactive players, regardless of the number of human players, what? Oh, no, there are always six founding villagers, each operated by a different character. Oh. A charter not controlled by a player is called an inactive charter, but it's still very much part of the village. Um, so we're going to put these yeah, on the good. board. It works. Where they go. So that one will go down there, and yep. then that one will go over in the red area. In the red area. Yeah. So clay. the clay pit. Yep, and then For those bricks. cards will go in the advancement area. All the bricks. Brick the, back. The game will soon okay, introduce a way work. for inactive characters to grow, but if at any time you would like these characters to act like human players, please read and use the Automa rulebook. This is necessary this is necessary for solo games. But we recommend that two plus player games only consider the Atoma after game one or two. Not now, is what it says. Don't do it. All right, this is like, Don't do it. Wait. Oh, goodness. Where do I want to put the clay pit? This Any is a lot preferences? Of Maybe next to the clay pit with the Next awesome to the golem? golem? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Next to the golem. Thank you oh for pointing God. that out. Why? I know. It's not. Yep. My precious. Okay, that's cool. Oh no! Oh, dear. oh no! Oh, God, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Recharge pack! Recharge pack! A rule has been I, ripped. I ripped we're like, it! We're I like, ripped it! We're like four stickers in! Uh, Alright, that's for the archive. Riverboats had pumpkins? Yeah, no. riverboats. Oh, yeah, yeah riverboats, one of the so resources was pumpkins. Oh, yeah! This oh, yeah, is a very. This is a very pumpkin-y essence. Yeah. Well, they make a lot of they make a lot of uh, pumpkin meeples, so yeah. we got to figure out uses for them. Well, okay, interesting. These are different from the like Rosenberg pumpkins. Two hundred six through two hundred. Those are vegetables, Steve. Ah, right. that's the difference. Hi. Thank you for squashing my. Uh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> my attempt. Oh Tony, no. Tony, you started over there? I didn't start anything. <laughs> you gonna finish it? He started it. 
right. I, I mean, um, Tony is wearing the KO shirt. I'm not boom. sure I want to start anything with Tony. Place the eight assistant cards on the advancement mat and the five objective cards on the objective mat. You will soon shuffle the cards on each of the mats into the respective decks. Open the chronicle and proceed with the setup instructions. Then, for players who haven't read the rules in advance, explain a player turn. The buildings, the cloud port, and the reputation. Okay. When you're ready to begin, extract card thirteen. So okay. do you need a? Do you need place this card in the archive without removing the sticker? All right, okay. Uh, do you need the bias cards too, or just the objective cards? A what? He's making a pun. I'm making a pun. Okay. I'm... I'm so, missing the pun, which for once I'm grateful. The subjective cards. Objective. Yeah, the oh. subjective cards. Yeah. The bias okay. card. Now I wish you hadn't explained that. <laughs> <laughs> that actually made it worse. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Just twisting the spork a little bit. Okay, so we put them here for now, and then later we'll shuffle them, and they include these. So. Oh, so we get to see all of them. I guess. Spoilers. Yeah. Does that unfold? No, I guess not. Okay, so normally there's going to be a deck and then some stuff. Mm. So basically I've already done everything else. <clears throat> um, okay, so we do shuffle. Those are adorable isometric All, these. All of these. And we're going to do five plus the deck. Plus and then... trick people. Can I do that? Oh, there's a little pumpkin patch. Right yes. There. Sorry, I'm probably going to just randomly break out into uh, Despacito at various times because Raphael has been listening to it nonstop. What's Despacito? You're you're lucky. You're a lucky <laughs> man. Oh, I don't know it either. It is a song. Um, okay, we're gonna roll the Charter Stone to see who goes first until an active Charter comes up. So somebody roll it. Dun, dun, dun. Everyone at once. Somebody. Go somebody, for it. One person roll it. <laughs> That was, that was the... I go first. We'll all be terrible at ghost See splits. Again. <laughs> okay. The, the um, anti-ghost The anti-ghost splits. The first person no who one, grabs it. No, no. no. <laughs> okay, so... The shiny candy-like button. You want to have your first building, your persona card, your 12 influence, which are the little hexes, Ooh. and then your two workers in front of you. Or actually, they're octagons. Yeah. I'm missing one. I didn't need it. I swear I did not eat it. Is it not? Uh oh. Uh oh. Time to restart. Can you fall? I do not know. It is green, so. Yeah, uh oh, it's spaghetti. Oh, there it is. Okay, we got it. Dun dun dun. Cool. It has been saved. Okay, for game one, each player will start with $4. So. $4. Who put the money next? (laughs) Same. Don't worry. <laughs> I can <laughs> count out the money for everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Have no fear. You didn't citizens. realize that being in the cave meant that you were the banker? Yeah. Everybody keeps all their money in the cave. Yeah, that's the safest spot. Yeah. The, uh, the this is fine dragon it. guards it. Very nice money. Okay. Um, so, here's some basic rules. Um, influence tokens are limited. So as soon as you have used all of your 12 influence tokens, you're basically done for this game, and all you're going to do on your turn is advance the progress track way over there. When the progress track hits the orange timer at the bottom, the game is over. So you get 12 for the game. Yes. Yes. Okay. There is very limited ways to get them back from the general supply whenever you do something that would add them to the general supply. Okay? Okay. Um... Then, uh, when you're using influence as a cost, you'll put it in the general supply, uh, unless the buildings build, unless the thing indicates a place to put it. Like um, the cloud port, but we'll get to that in a minute. Yep. Then, generally, whenever you gain cards, you're going to put them face up in front of you. Um, you, whenever you gain a card from the advancement deck, you'll instantly replace it, um, and then whenever you need to, uh, whenever the discard is full and we can't replace, we shuffle the discard and we do it. Um, as cards are added from story plots, they go into the discard and are shuffled. The discard is then shuffled and then put back um, with the deck. So 
there's that. What's a story plot? A story plot? Do you, like, do you mean a plot as in uh, a narrative plot or a plot as in the narrative. place where you put stuff? Narrative. Okay. Um, it's, I, it's, I know. There could be many kinds of plots. Uh, assistants are these adorable cards, um, and they feature people that will help you do things um, and, like, various modifiers. And when you gain an assistant, you will uh, name it when you take it. So... And you get to name the assistant. It'll be named for the rest of the game. Yep. Uh-huh. Um, so there's that. So you have a big responsibility on your hands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If they don't have a name, you name them. If they do have a name, you don't change their name. That would be weird. <laughs> um, I think we'll just call you Bob. I don't, I don't like this name of yours. When you build the building, you peel off the sticker and put it on the board. Um, And then you keep the card very much like how we kept the cards for our starting building. Um, If the card is, if it has a crate, you're going to keep it in front of you because you might be able to unlock that crate later. Mm. Um, If it has no crate, then it's just going to go in the archive because it's done. Okay? Okay. Cool. Then we have player turns. So on your turn, you either place a worker from your personal supply onto some place on the board, or you take your workers back. Okay? When you place a worker, if you place it someplace that's already occupied, you will bump that worker back to the owner and then take the worker's spot. Oh, the cost for going to a location is in the bottom ooh, bottom left of a building. Um, so the bottom icon, and then what you gain is the top left. Or, sorry, upper right is what you gain. So, it's more like the left side is what you pay and yep. the right side is what you gain. Not yep. really upper or lower. Mm-hmm. Um, you gain all parts of all... You may gain all or part of the benefit. Um, coins and resources are finite, however. Then, uh, if you cannot pay the cost, you can't go to the building. Don't do it. <laughs> Not allowed. So what are the buildings? Well, they're pretty self-explanatory. So the Zeppelin, you'll pay three influence tokens and then four resources of any type, um, and then you get to build one building in your charter. And what's the five? Five under? victory is that points. Five victory points. Yep. Yep. You get five victory points and you build your thing. The Charter Stone is you'll pay four bucks and then two influence tokens to unlock a crate, which is one of the buildings you've already constructed. We all have crates available to us. The number on them just helps with lookup for uh, what they give us, because they're not random crates. They are very specific things. Then there's the Grand Stand. You pay one influence to... uh, You pay the influence to an objective card that you have completed to score five virtue points, and these are the objective cards. Then the Treasury is you pay one resource to gain a dollar. Uh, the market, pay any one resource and gain a dollar, or any one resource and a dollar to gain one card from the advancement mat. So that is how you get these cards, is you pay one resource and one dollar. And go to the market. And that's, yeah, you go to the market. Cool. So crates are super straightforward. You'll pay the indicated cost on the charter stone building. Then we look it up in the index, find it in this giant thing, um, get the victory points. Whenever you build, whenever you unlock a crate, build a building, or complete an objective, we advance the progress track, which advances the potential for in-game happening. The icons on the um, icon on the progress track will trigger things. So the refresh symbol is income, so everybody that has income will get income. Uh, One is a reputation, so if you're the one that moves it, you gain a reputation. It's a little sailboat. Uh, Sailboats are awesome. Uh, that's it. That's I it. think that's it. Yep. Yeah. Other Otherwise, than the timer, the timer that ends it. Yeah. Yep. The end of the game. Sweet. So, um, you can sc- for the objectives when you go to the grand scan, they're just gonna hang oh. out here. This. Uh, be this way. Jamie is here for a couple minutes. If oh, we have hi, any Jamie. Questions. I don't think we have any questions yet. Yay. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. So. Where was I? Objective cards. They just hang out here. You don't physically take them. I might actually rotate it to make them slightly more readable for everybody. Yeah. Um, 
You just put your influence marker you're on just, it. Yeah, you're going to put an influence marker on it, and you gain it. Each player may complete each objective once every game. Yeah, so when you complete it with the grandstand, the the influence marker that you spend mm, is what you put on, on yeah, there. Yeah, it's going to go over there. Yep, and that just helps keep track. Mm -hmm. um, so there's that. And then otherwise, that's all of the buildings and all of that stuff. Cloud port. Oh, yeah, so the quota track is the cloud port or any building that has that hand symbol that's ne next to that. So the cost is you select an open space on the quota track and then you pay the type of thing denoted by the row and then the quantity as by the column. Um, and then you put your influence marker there to say, yes, I paid it. And you gain the benefit that is under it. Um, so Sometimes it's victory points, sometimes it's reputation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's nothing. Yep, sometimes it's nothing. But for going to the cloud port and activating the cloud port, you will always get three victory you points. You always get three. Yeah. So you, you always get three. You could get four, and you could get reputation. Yeah, and you can build wherever you want on that track. Okay. So you could, yeah, you could start at the three if you wanted. So there you go. The reputation track is um, a bonus for in-game scoring and some in-game stuff that we probably don't know about yet. But um, whoever is furthest along this at the end of the game will get 10 victory points, second gets seven, and then last gets third. Um, it's four. Four, yeah. sorry. Uh, sorry. Um, and what you'll do is you'll put influence tokens on the track. So you place your influence token on the track starting at the number of players that we're playing with. Um, there's that. And then um, the players with the highest number of tokens on the track gain 10p. Mm. So if you're tied, it's, it's a fun tie. Friendly tie. Friendly tie. But yeah, those are the three main ways that your influence discs will disappear over the game. Oh. Quotas, reputation, and... The, um, uh, objectives yeah. and the little fires on these spaces mean we advance progress. Yeah, when you activate, yeah. when you activate yes. them. Yeah. yeah, the progress. Being those that, three yeah. things, same mm -hmm. as the icons ah, there. Okay. You got it. Yep. Um, income. They say don't worry about income yet. Okay. Cool. So there you go. Um. Yeah. Said the uh, the graphic design was actually pretty intuitive. Yeah. There you go. That's it. The game ends when the progress token is on the orange thing. And then we will figure out other things, but the object is the object of the game is to have the most points at the end. So now that we've done that, we go to the next story card. <gasps> next story what did, card. What did the quota get us again at the cloud port? So when you go to the cloud port, you get you points. take one of these yep. and you cover up one of these things by paying the cost. So here would be to get one victory point, you would spend three, three of any yep. good, the little bags, anything, and then three money or three cards. And so you would cover it up, and then you would also get the three points the three plus points. whatever okay. you covered up. Okay, well, here we go. All right. An important part of game one is for each player to use the Charter Stone building. This will let you unlock... I'm using the wrong voice. I'm sorry. This will let you unlock the crate shown on your constructed building card. Review the steps on Rule 19 the first time this happens. All right. Now begin the game! Yay! Set this card aside and refer to it the first time a player unlocks a crate. The next card we get from the index is when somebody unlocks a crate. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So I go first, and now I just play, I guess. Yeah. So Work I, place. I have no goods. And the goods are all oh. basically equivalent. No at the you have moment. no goods, but you do have enough to use the charter stone. Because yeah. they gave you four money. They did give me four money, and so I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go. Not right out the gate. I want a pumpkin. You want a pumpkin? I want a pumpkin. Give me one of Tony's delicious pumpkins. And are we just going clockwise? Yep. Um, I assume. I have to open the crate. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't last long. Put a worker there. Uh, and then I spend two influence. Yes, you spend. So you'll spend they two influence to the, to the supply. Yeah, they go to the supply. We're just gonna put them someplace. There put are some. The money there are some things that will get you, get those back. But and then yeah. either worker. Either worker. Yeah, just they're, one. And they're equivalent. There's no for difference now. yet. We okay. yeah. All right, two influence and four money. And then what is the number on it your crate? It is number five. And you okay, so five then we points. look at the index for the crate number, and it's number five. Oh, get a lot of cards. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. You get three cards. So you're going to get card <laughs> That's a lot. I have two right now. That's true. That's, like, more than what you have. Yeah. 88 and 89. 88 and is a lucky number. 303. Yeah. 
150 I like how the, I'm glad there's enough room for you to actually like, I was just riffle thinking them. That, like, yeah. Those are what you got. What did you get? See? <gasps> I got a prospector, which is a persona for Judy oh. McPamplemus. Uh, after using a building with a metal cost, I gain a VP. Cool. Uh, and then I gained a refinery and an iron market, both of which have crate numbers. Wow. And so you can't build will, them yet. Yep, you have to go yeah. to the Zeppelin to build them. But you have them available. Four goods. And wow, they and then these are the costs along yes. the left. So they need two metal each and then wow. other resources. To use them? To, to build, build them. them. Oh, shit, isn't it? Yeah, plus the... The uh, three influence yeah, and four and goods. Four goods. Yeah. Wow. wow. Okay. That'll be a while. What hey, is, look, we just learned about constructing is, a building. Oh, what do they do? Or yeah, um, it looks like Iron Market is pay iron, iron, for, iron money. for money, and bucks, then Refinery nice. is influence for metal iron and, and money. Uh-huh. Cool. Yeah. Iron and a VP. And okay. I think these number. What are the purple numbers at the bottom? Those are just, to like, help me index the cards. Yeah. Or no, I think at the they're bottom VP of the building. The that is the end of campaign value. Yeah. End of campaign value. How good they it's, are for you at the end of the yeah, campaign. Yeah, it's victory point value at the end of the campaign. Oh. Okay. Because of their mobility and flexibility, Zeppelins are the standard way of constructing buildings in mm. Green Gully. You may place a worker on the Zeppelin to construct a building on an empty plot of your charter using the building cost. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, pay three influence plus the four resources shown on the upper oh, left so of a building. Oh, so it's not card. additional. Mm. That's cool. Okay, that... Makes it much less scary. They all cost four, so this four random means the four that are indicated uh, on the building. It. Okay, cool. Not in yeah, addition that's to. Way better. Okay. Benefit. Remove the building sticker and permanently affix it to an empty pot in your charter. Mm. Gain five victory points and advance the progress token. If the constructed building card shows a crate, place it in front of you. Otherwise, it goes in the archive. The number below the building is its victory point at the end of the game. Uh, extract card 15. That reminds me. You activated the charter stone, so this okay, one... I did. You can do that yep. while <laughs> Thank I you for catching put this in. You're discovering that you have a variety of skills that you don't remember learning. <laughs> Creepy! Whoa. <laughs> we're amnesiacs? Whoa. Not only were we, like, shipped off to somewhere, we don't even remember who we were. I don't I'm... know. I think they're injecting, like... Like it's like the style. Matrix style? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I know prospecting. The Forever King seems to be happy each time you use a different persona. Oh. All Persona Thank cards, you. except the original Personas, give each player a special ability. During setup, you may select any Persona from your charter chest. Keep it face up, you may use it at its ability throughout the game. Each marked Persona, which has a little triangle by it, mm-hmm. yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. is worth 5 to 7 victory okay, points so at the end of the campaign. You'll be told to mark your selected Persona at the end of the game if you use it. If you unlock a Persona card during a game, place it in your charter chest. Charter yeah. chest. So put it in your chest. Ah. What did I say? No. Oh, I, did. I was just repeating. Put it in my chest. <laughs> Even if it doesn't look like your original persona, you can't use it this game. <gasps> I can't be a Keep all prospector. persona cards from game to game. Extract card 16 from the get the index. And this Gotta go prospecting for card 16. It goes in the, yeah, it goes in the Rule thing. 5, yeah. Okay. Um, dun, dun, dun. Continue playing until the progress token advances to the in-game space. Ugh. Finish the round so all players have taken the same number of turns. Oh, cool. Remember that if you run out of influence tokens during the game, you must advance the progress token at the beginning of your turn. Right. Players will carry all will carry over all components to, in their personal supply from game one to game two. Place this card at the bottom right of the game board on the guidepost slot. Ah. This then refer to the next paragraph when the final turn is taken in game one. Mm-hmm. After game one, we'll do it. Okay. And now do we, we do very things. cool. Do that. We this is done. Oh, yeah. Yep. So um, so we can still take turns when we run out of influence, but it's going to advance towards the end of the game. I guess. Do you lose the card that you? Unlocked? Yes, at, you can still take turns, but you will advance the yeah. progress. Uh, I put game. it in my chest. Uh, chest. No, the uh, the five card that you just. Oh, oh the one that yeah. you unlocked. When you when you unlock, do you? Get rid of the when you unlock a crate, does it go into the archive? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because the crate's done. All right. We opened it. Oof. Good job! Tony's turn. That's a big turn. That was a pretty big turn. And Minus. now we're done with rules. Mine is not going to be... Uh... So we're done with rules for this game? Well, unless somebody does something special with the crate, but I have a feeling we're done with rules. Because that was just the first time a crate comes up. Yeah. yeah the next time I'm supposed to pull okay, a card so is let me see what those game, guys do. So. Whenever you use the cloud port, can a VP. Whenever you use the treasury, 
Get one of your influence tokens from general supply. I want to really quickly take this spoiler dart away. Just in case. Can we, can we pull? Yeah. Okay. I will stop reading. Spoiler dart's gone. Okay, so I just wanted to say, we, um, Jamie is here. Hi, Jamie. Uh, the designer of the game. I love it when the designers come by. Um, but we just finished the rule learning of the game, and we are now officially playing um, two turns in. Because uh, I took a turn, and Steve took a turn, which required more rules to be read. <laughs> so we are now on our way playing the game. So if you are watching for no spoilers, um, all the spoilers have been done, and they're out. Yeah. And now we're just going to be playing the game. So it's up to you to decide if you're okay seeing the game being interacted and played with the knowledge that you might not know exactly what's happening. But I will say, for this first game, there's not really a lot of spoilers in this. Um, if you want to be completely surprised, that's totally fine. It's up to you. But this first game is very much just the rules and setup, it seems like. There's not much thematically happening. Um, well, you might see some cards that... There might be yeah, some cards that come out, yeah. yeah. But in general, um, so far we don't have much of a plot except for like how we got here. Yep. And that we should improve this area of the world. That's all we have so far. So, all right. Um, spoiler Dog is going to come back, and we're going to keep playing, and we're going to keep streaming for those who don't care about spoilers. But I just wanted to check in with y'all and let you know that we're done with the rules and the reading of story things, and now we're just playing. Okay, Spoiler Dog can come back. Cool. Yay! Well, the guy almost matches my hair. My hair's still a little dark. Yep. Um... I'm just going to take a break. 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 Uh, break. Laying down on the job, taking a break. Yep. Yep. I am also... So this kicks him out. Right? Yes. Yeah. He and just gets it back so that he doesn't have to and use I don't, a turn. And I don't get any nope. kind of bonus. But, nope. Oh, but I get my worker You get your worker back so you don't have to waste like a turn. turn. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to waste a turn to pull somebody back. Here's my two influence. Man. Four right after those crates. And your crate three. That's so much fun. It is fun. Great for you. This goes in the archive. This is making me kind of want to play Seven of Continent. I know, right? I'd play it with you. Oh. Do you have it? And no. <laughs> Steve has a friend that has it. Oh. Yeah, I know. I know two people that have it. And the Charter Stone will move. Uh, we'll so move you will get to put a reputation out. Yes. Hang on. He's got to get his stuff. Nice. I know. I just didn't want to forget that while I remembered that it was happening. Oh. Yep. Sailboat. 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 There you go. Ah. That's right. If you have a sailboat, it means you have a better reputation than anyone else. Yes, I have got no, learned yesterday. What it, is, what it is is that's actually just the magic eye. Ooh, if you can see the sailboat, <laughs> then... You're better off. I got right. the wood market, which for a wood gives you a coin and a shipping. Ooh. And then lumber mill for a reputation, get two wood. Two wood. Yeah. Lots of wood. Very nice. And then you get a persona. After using a building with a wood cost, gain one victory point. I'm going to sell know. this I'll pumpkin I got from Toki Tony to get a dollar. Well, no, because mine was if you build a building with a metal cost, oh. you gain a victory point. And yours is if you use, use a, building. a building with a wood cost. Your turn. Um, I should probably take a turn. Oh, can you give me five points, too? Uh, yes, that would be a good idea. Thank you. Um, and on my turn, I'm going to go to the cave. Can I go to my own yeah. spot? Yeah, you can go anywhere. You can go anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Um, so all I'm going to do here is, is... get some iron. Get my irony. Go to my irony to get that iron. I iron. Iron. All right. I'm rolling. I'm going to sell a brick to get a money. Sell a brick. Sell a brick. <laughs> I'm going to get a wood. <laughs> Lovely day. This is moving wood. on at a pretty good clip. Steve yeah. and I, or Tony and I have similar ideas. I'm going to go to the commons, boom, Yay. Yep. Thank you. And then I'm going to pay four bucks, which doesn't break me, and two influence. You haven't been broken yet? Kairos! Ugh. And then I get six. And five points. And everyone gets income. Which yeah, we don't we know what that is yet. We don't We don't know what income is yet. Everybody gets non-existent income. <laughs> I don't even know. Do we know what money is? Like, we don't know what money is. Do, you know, we're uh, about... It's a really nice, thick metal coin. Yeah. yeah. Money is well, abstract. do we know what income is, I should say? All no, right. we don't know what income is. My persona is a farmer. Okay, it looks like Jamie is uh, is heading out. All right. Thanks, Jamie. See you, Jamie. All right. We'll Thanks, Jamie. We'll you on Twitter. Yep. Thanks. Um, yeah, income is the thing that has less disparity, usually, than wealth, <laughs> which has a much higher Green disparity. And a greenery. I guess wealth is the... Oh, I think these are upgrades. Derived from mm. income. Maybe. Because, like, this is 
Oh, no, it's not. You're still it's sticking. Just, no, it's, I get it. I understand. I understand. All right. Uh, this can go in the archive. So that's you and Steve. Steve. Who is Goomba? I like my name. Starting to fill up here in the archive. There's a lot. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how you're going to fit all those in here, but. Well, I think some will go in here. No. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go here and get Does that yes, another that you get You're gonna bump yourself. Turn. So does this, this does this what? bump me or? What? what? Does this yeah, bump you me? bump yourself. If you get assistance, do you get to keep them every? Stop time? bumping yourself. Stop bumping yourself. I have to take my guys back. I don't think so. It says everything that you. Well, have. I don't know. Because it says if you get an unnamed assistant, name it. Right. Yeah. Which makes me feel like you could potentially get a named one. Mm. Mm. True. Well, you can give up cards. Here, yeah. Points, which probably and back, yeah. where do you give them up to? Do you discard them? Or? Yeah, I believe you so. get another wood. Another wood. <gasps> and another wood. And another wood. And another wood. I'm not doing anything. Another wood bites the dust. Another wood don't, bites don't, the dust. Don't, don't, don't. And another wood gone. And another could wood we, gone. Could, could so we not? You're pulling no. them back? No. Just don't sing. Okay. No, yeah, okay. no queen? Like, no queen back. specifically? Or just no, no queen, singing? No I don't know. That's a terrible rule. No singing? Yeah. We sing a lot here. No queen? I mean, I could ask him to come back, Angela, if you wanted. I don't think she has it unmuted, but... So, and I, I can just keep... Just hammering the spot and get you... You could. If you yeah. want, yeah, go great. That's my plan. Hammer that stone. Well, no, you are... No, stone, not hammer stone. I was going to say, you are the cave person. So, you know, doing a whole bunch of stuff in the cave seems to make some sort of thematic sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the cave people from uh, Above and Below. Pretty All right, oh, yeah. I'm a glow kicking you out. I'm taking one way out. Uh, Kyra, do you have your worker? Take your. I'll take another wood. Take, take your, your dude back. Filthy worker back. Right, it wasn't filthy. Wood, please. It was quite clean. Uh, I'll go to the field. Mm-hmm. One, two, three. Uh, <laughs> I am gonna go to the mine because what's mine? Is everything is Tiffany's side. Everything is better with a Queen soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Like every movie. I um, want to ride you're good. my Zeppelin. <laughs> right. Angela's unmuted. I she want can hear to now. ride my blimp. Oh god. Sell that for money. Are there implications there? No. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I, I was hoping I was hoping that would happen. No. Now I am hoping it's happening. I go to the market. Oh, boo. Whoa. John knows what I'm doing. I know what you're doing. Yeah. John pays attention. Yeah. Ah! Oh, it's a nice yeah. card. Should I'm we... buying. I would have loved it. My new assistant. He's the treasurer. Whenever I go, whenever I use the treasury, I may regain one of my influence tokens from the general supply. That's Is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Okay. We have a Sherpa. Oh, hey, by the way, you can go here and buy this player's things. Yeah, what? you can buy that crate. Do you yeah. get the persona then? Mm. Actually, yeah, I think you would. You'd open Whoa. the crate. That's that's why they mention your persona may not match you. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. That is kind of cool. But do you add the buildings to that charter? Oh, good I question. To your own I do not know. It has to, uh, right? Because you have the buildings. I don't know. To Twitter. Oh, yeah. Jamie, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, come back. <laughs> you can blame it all. Um, oh, Tiffany. Aw, oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I have to name my treasure. I, can I just name him Rich because he's rich? I'm just gonna That's not him. a bad idea. His name. How about Rich Rich? Rich Richie Money Rich. Bags. Richie yeah. Rich. Richie Rich. It's Richie Rich. <laughs> Did you say Reggie Rich? <laughs> no. Richie Rich. Yeah. All right, I'll ask Jamie on Twitter. Um, but it's it seems like a whip because you're, you're, yeah, you're getting like the points. Win. The whole thing about mm-hmm. building is the in-game points. Mm-hmm. But you could only build six buildings, so... Right now, yeah. that's the That appears to be that the case. That appears to be the case. And I guess you would start covering them up. But... <sighs> or we fold out a whole new section of board. Yeah. You flip the board over. It's actually, you want to use yes. something on the other side. <laughs> it's, it's actually... Uh, and everyone gets their workers back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently... The board is actually a tesseract. Yeah. So, <laughs> since it is a hypercube, we can yeah, focus we can on just, every surface. We can start unfolding <laughs> different directions. Have you seen uh, the keeper boards, the folding right. boards? But like, there's like. I so don't even know how to I'm going it. to oh, the grandstand. Like, there's just an incredible amount of like folding that goes on, and then like they can unfold them. I haven't, themselves. but is it one of the things where like if um, 
Like if you fold it, kind of flips. Yep. Tight. Yeah. All right. I'm going to the grandstand and putting this on the six money. Oh. Because I, oh, nice. I got six money. It doesn't stop any of you guys from getting oh, there. I just five points though. Yep. That is the important part. Go back. I imagine that's. And what this three goes forward. Because the grandstand's one of the buildings yep. that moves that. Yep. Good catch, uh, John's turn. Then yeah. I got my people back. People back. People back. People back. I have back. to take my people back because people won't bump me. Same with Steve. Oh, jeez. All of the bumping. The yep. Well, that's because I deliberately went places that I knew other people would bump me this time. Mm -hmm. After totally messing that up the first time. Um, and it is me. Everybody just recovered their peoples. Uh, what do I want to do? Yeah, what are you going to do, Asbestos? Yeah, what is next? Alright, I've asked um, Jamie, but I've asked him publicly, so hopefully. I'm that's not go. too spoilery. I'm going to go... I'm trying to look at what you guys need for your your stuffs. Stuffsies. All right, I'm gonna go to the forest. Oh, sorry, Beth. Yeah, you know, when we finish it, um, I don't know what I was gonna go with there. Pumpkin, please. Oh, <laughs> Beth, I saw the artwork that has been posted on Twitter. I about died. Like I saw it right as we started the stream. I'm going to check Beth's Twitter, I guess. Oh, uh, it's also actually, your turn. Actually, actually, damn it. Oh. Okay, well, I just am going to go to the field. Yes. I was the king of the forest. <laughs> I can't do the rolls. I was the king of the forest. Uh, I'm gonna, I've got the cowardly I'm lion John. thing down. Fight, mate. Bump John for a pumpkin. Bump John? Yep. I'll bump you if you bump me. Nobody bumped me! I'll get a brick, please. Brick, brick, brick! Oh! And then it was Tiffany's turn. Curse you for building one building at a time. <laughs> Instead of doing the Steve method of, I'm just gonna get all my iron now. I know. I'm gonna hoard all I bumped myself again. Or for the first time. Uh, I'm gonna get a wood. When I think about food, I bump myself. Wait, no, that's not <laughs> right at all. All right, I'm going to the market. The market. We're gonna spend a money and a wood, and I would like the broker. What does the broker do? Whenever you use the cloud port, gain a VP. Very nice. And I need to name the broker. What am I going to name my broker? Brokey? Brokey. Brock. Yeah, the Brock. Uh, Brokey Broke instead of Richie Rich. <laughs> oh, I this keep is, thinking... I think I have uh, kept thinking we needed to use we four money. We do have some alterations, to use, to use Beth. Um, we have our charter buildings. So each player, each of the six charters, and you play even the inactive ones, the ones that aren't controlled by humans, um, have... Starting buildings and those are out on the board. Is it my turn? No, it's, it's Tiffany's turn. I was explaining to I that. got the longshoreman. Uh, his name is Shorty. Shorty! <laughs> I've been told I'm built like a longshoreman, so I assume Shorty is accurate. That's the long and the short of it. <sighs> yeah. Tony's why, turn. Why do we let him out? <laughs> He's in right and now. You came into yeah. his cage. Uh, <laughs> second, <laughs> second game of Charter Stone. <laughs> Three people and an Automa. <laughs> All right, um, so I'm going to go to the cloud port. We're going to put that. one influence disc. We're going to spend two money nice. to get Every, the VP, uh, which will give me five VP because of my yep. person. Two, three, four, you could five, bump the lowest ten. scoring person each game and replace them with Atoma until there was only one person playing Solitaire. Well, you can't play Solitaire. What? Yeah, with Atoma. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm just saying you would bump the lowest scoring. Like if you started with six, you could bump the lowest scoring player each game until there's only one person playing. Not that I would do that. Hey, right. cutie. Oh, whoops. Did I take the wrong one? Did you cheat? Tony Turn. You've already named him. Oh, I've already named him. I didn't mean to get him. I wanted to get the engineer. Oh, well. Too late. 
Actually, I do really look like that dude. You do. Like, I really look like that longshoreman. We could be brothers, other than my hair's purple. Um, it's not genetic, though. You say that. <laughs> I'm going to figure out a way. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? I need to get... Oh, did you unplug, unplug the rice cooker? Nope. <laughs> I can I can do it. I can do it. I'm gonna go to get some coal. Arr, coal. I'll, I'll get some wood, uh, please. Wood for you. Thank you. So you know when you stretch like a cat. I'm gonna go to the zeppelin. Nice. So I will move progress oh. forward. Yep. A three influence. I do think the proclivity to and dye one's hair is genetic. Two metal, uh, coal, and a vegetable. Although for me it was much more politically triggered. I like okay. I like how the well because of my markers we'll know who named what. That's mm -hmm. true. Beyond just handwriting. handwriting. So we should put these in our boxes. Uh, too, okay, no. so I built something. Uh huh. I've paid everything. We get little tiny get pins. We put them inside points. of our. Yes. I could, yeah. And then well, I you put it the in your are, region. That's good. No, that's put true. it in my region. Oh no! <gasps> He's already messed it up. Oh. Uh, and this is more up. serious because this isn't the rule book where we can hide it away. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, I'm putting we'll the iron market. Next the greenery. To the cave. I spend an influence to get a greenery. Right, that doesn't make sense. Um, I think I just have to take my workers right. back. Um, we need to move this. You did. He I did. moved it for me. You yep. moved it for you. Yep. Okay. And I did not get the sailboat. You got your victory points, yes. Okay, so I'm just recovering workers. Boop. Boop, indeed. Uh, I'm going to go... Oh, All the boop. Nowhere. John's doing a bunch of stuff. John's doing a lot of things. Oh, John's doing things. John's building a building. And this gets me a point for putting a thing there. Uh -huh. And I get five points for the building. Yep. So, he's at 11. In the lead. And I'm building the lumber mill. Mm -hmm. Two wood. Wait, why do you get to put on the reputation track? Because I have shorty. Oh. When you place a token on the reputation track, gain a VP. But oh, why but, but because he... of the progress marker. Because he hit oh. the progress marker. Oh. He Got had it. a sailboat. Which is why I was waiting to build. Yep. Oh, I did that back one. Oh. It was on sale. All right. I'm going to go to <laughs> no. meet Orr. I need to hurry up and drink this so he's either <laughs> funny or, or I have a weapon. Put me on Orr. <laughs> uh, which, this one? I don't the know. Cave? Yeah, that one. The cave. Give me the cave. Please. <laughs> wow! Oh, thank wow. You. <laughs> wait, that's this the dexterity is iron. element. Wait, no, this is iron. I don't want iron. What do you want? Well, did you coal? want clay or coal or yeah. iron? Oh, I guess I wanted coal. So you're going to the, to the mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. A, it's not yours. It's all right. I'm going Tony's. here. Yes, to thank sell you very much for the for meeple it. pens, Beth. We uh, I wear them on my apron at work, and people like them. Tiffany turns. Uh, Tiffany's going to get wood. Oh, no, nobody you bumped me. You were calling me. your workers. Nobody bumped me. Um, you guys I have some? Because I was saving one for you guys. But... And drop two iron. You're saving what for me? To get two oh, iron. no. Beth sent us extras. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, Tony turn. Cool. I will spread it around. All right. Um, so now I am going to do the charter stuff. Hey. Now that I've, you know, done the two things that I was yeah. planning on doing. Number one. So those go away. Forever. These go away. 22. I get five, which puts me at 15. Mm -hmm. And that goes up, which hits the sailboat. Oh, the sailboat already got hit with me. Oh, oh it, did it? Sorry. It must have been moved again. OK, yeah. so it doesn't hit the sailboat. Not as good as I'd hoped, but still good. I'm certainly not taking it back. There you go, John. All right. What do you got? I am a gardener, and I got a greenhouse. Which lets you turn influence into pumpkins and victory points. And nice. the pumpkin market, which lets you sell pumpkins for gold and victory the points. The pumpkin market's so cute! It, it is, is. It's adorable. Very, oh, it's a little yeah. pumpkin. Yeah, and it's got like a little witch's hat almost. I love That's the great. Why am I not playing Tony's character? Oh. Okay, this is. I'm, I'm digging the pumpkin dude. I am the pumpkin king. Uh, oh, you reap what you oh sow. wow, Beth, you're super awesome. I will go to the I mean, forest. that in, in all seriousness. I would, please. I would, please. So, 
I, I, I thought you were uh, saying you would do something. Like I, I heard the different would. Uh, I'm gonna go to the lumber mill and spend an influence because whatever. Uh, to get two wood. Beth is way too nice. Beth is so nice. I'm not gonna say that too much, or she'll mute us because of spoiler dog. <laughs> No, she'll mute us because all of the blood will rush to her face. Um, oh, I have to take my workers back. I yeah. can't do anything. No, not with both workers on the board. Guess what? Hey. I'm going to follow your lead there. It was such a good move, I had to do it too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to Zeppelin. Building. Building. You're a building. So three influence, or three influence, two influence. Your part of the village is going to float into the air like a lead three. Zeppelin. Three influence. How did move the progress marker? How did I know he was going to make marker. a Led Zeppelin reference? Um, and I do these three goods. And do you get money? Uh. Wait, those three goods? Four. Goods. Four. I threw it, and okay. then I'm building the green market. Mmm. Mmm. Um, which is you spend a green to get a money and a reputation. Okay. Nice. There's a lot of good spots coming into the board. Mm-hmm. There are. Uh, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it over here. Uh, that just means we're gonna get our workers back less often. I'm yeah. gonna, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the market, spend a money and a uh, wood, Ooh, and I'm gonna take the coal, uh, the black, the yeah, coal, that one, yeah. the crate. We have a archivist. Whenever you use the market, you may gain one reputation. Oh, that's really Whoa. cool. That was really Tony good. Turn. Um, I am going to go. Did Jamie get back to you? On uh, I haven't checked. What was the question? Uh, it was about when you build crated buildings. How would you always build build them in your? And I I would assume so, I'm but going to the because they don't have. Okay. There you are, sir. The buildings don't have any indicator of what player they should be, so I imagine it's yours. The starting basic yep. buildings do. The Too constructed money, building card goes into the advancement deck, and then. You could gain it, unlock the crate, and later construct buildings you unlock in your charter. Okay, so it's oh, it's what we thought. I need then. to put my gardener no. in my chest. Yes. Oh, okay. So if once you build it... Oh, and also, that goes for these. Mm -hmm. Once you build them, they go in the advancement dock. Oh, you don't get to keep them? No, you don't keep them. Oh, wow. Because you're not the one that will do it, necessarily. Oh, I see. So it's... I only oh, built one, bought, oh, right. and this is the one I bought. And we shuffle it immediately, right? Yes. Ah, okay. So that should have That's... happened a while ago. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Asterisk scene. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm wrong. If the constructed building card shows a crate, place it in your personal supply. Okay. okay. Sorry. So everybody gets their crates back. Everybody who's built buildings, that which is everyone but starting... me. Basic buildings do. The constructed building card goes into the advancement deck, and then you could gain it, unlock the crate, and later construct buildings you unlock in your charter. So you have to be, wait. Do unactive characters crate buildings go... Oh. He thought I was talking about these ones. Oh. Okay. That makes more sense. All right. Sorry. Is it... Who's doing it? There you go. Thanks. Me? Mm-hmm. Yep. A bump of the tiff. Nope. 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 The Tony. The Tony. Yeah. Which is acceptable. I'll allow it. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know how good the game is yet either, Doug, because it just... I'm going to go to the... We're just kind of doing stuff now. It's sort of like a basic... Nope. These. Get resources, yep. user workers to get resources to do things. So, yeah. Turns are very snappy right it's now. It's very quick. Um, I'm going to the treasury to trade this one wheat in for a coin, and then I also get an influence marker back. That's pretty cool. That is pretty good. Um, I'll come back. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go here. Yes. Sell this for a money and a. Mm -hmm. 
All right, thank you. You're welcome. I'm starting to go where people want to go, where everybody knows my name. Seems like the name of the game. And they're. I missed. Um, but I'm gonna buy the archivist. Whenever I use the market, I may gain reputation. Seems like a good combo. Uh, her name is Sally's Sal. Sal no. I'm gonna bump Tiffany from the market. Spend this clay and this money to take the fire uh, starting thingy. And that is all the cards. What all should right. I name her? She's got right, a sailboat. Go. Here. But she's Sailors. an archivist. Yep. For two. All the sailboats. Sally Sails. There you go. <gasps> her name is going to be Sally Sails. That worked go. out very well for there us. Both both sides of the board. I know. We're we, helping we, each other. We are. It's cooperation. You bum me up uh, with Tiffany's turn? Yeah, I'm naming Sally. It gives me a coin, too. It does. The name is yep. Sally Sales. Uh, They're I'm all over going... the reputation. I think you should bump me again. And you're getting VP every time you do that, right? Yeah. Are you moving your correct marker? Wait, Green? how did you get Green? Sally yes. Sales? Oh, okay. you got that last I turn? I When did oh you my... buy it? Like, literally on my last turn. Okay. How am I at 15? Um... Because you did, I did an objective, I did that, and, and I did get that. a reputation. Well, no, you haven't built yet. I haven't built yet. Can I have a coin? I did an objective, I did... You, you charge stone, objective, and... Okay, yes, yeah. so that's how. That's how. Okay. Y'all are breaking my engine I made. Stop and it's it. now... Go find another uh, engine. That's nice. <laughs> I'm taking a coin. They're taking a thingy. All right. And I'm going to go to the cloud port. Mm-hmm. And we're going to go ahead and spend three to put this here, which will get me five. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Coin, please. Uh, there you go. Thank you. Open another crate. <gasps> what crate are you going to open? 23, please. 23. Oh. You get a card. Wait. Oh, jeez. I need to Ooh. open uh, this crate. Oh, so that, that pushes us another. I open a new rule. Rules. Read second. 60. I need to, I need to open some crates. Oh. Oh, that's fine. Did we advance that down there when I did this? I or did no, it. this doesn't that does, do that. I did it, yeah. When... You did it for him. Cool. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. With the village flourishing, the demand on local craftsmen is vastly exceeding supply. You offer your skills to help fill the back orders. The player who unlocked this crate may gain one of these item cards at random. What item cards? Well, I haven't gotten that yet. No. Oh, I get a random card and an item card. Shuffle the remaining cards into the advancement deck. But this is your new persona and another building. I got the crafter, which for a wood gets you a symbol that's yet undefined. <gasps> a wrench. I read something I shouldn't have. Okay. Don't read things. I'm trying. It's hard. That's right. Don't be reading. 59. Reading is not fundamental. Oh, wow. You got us lots of cards. I need to open. They're item cards. Yep. And you when get an item is... Wait. Gather resources to fill orders for items in your personal supply. When an item is completed on your turn, pay the resources to the general supply, gain the benefit shown on the upper right of the item card, then discard the card. You may eventually construct some buildings where you can pay discarded item cards to gain VP as indicated on the building. You gain wow. one randomly. You do. What A do clay vase. And then this is the advancement. So for two brick and a ore, I get to chip. Mm. It doesn't, the, like, does this get you an item card? I guess. But then you'd have to, like, dig through the deck? Maybe you just draw one. Oh, no, sorry. Whenever you gain a card of the type depicted, you draw it from here. And if there's none available? You don't get it. Ooh. But it says item right there. Yep. Yeah. All right, I have to put this in the rule book. I don't understand um, that last part. You may eventually construct some buildings where you can pay to gain victory points as indicated on the building. You can pay item cards, right? 
You can pay item cards to gain victory points as indicated on the building. Oh, oh there's going to be some so buildings you, you that you discard the want... item card without having to fulfill it, and then you. There's going to be some buildings that want specific icons or, or items. Pay discarded. Does that mean? Do I get four points when I finish this? And a... looks like a looks yeah. like... shipping. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now you're making goods, building buildings, making goods. We all can oh. make it. I'm over here that's not building idea. buildings. I need to do that. Tony's winning instead of building things. Yeah, yeah that's kind of how it's Seems going, unfortunately. Selfish. I focus too much on the objectives. Um, yeah. Nobody did what I wanted, so I had to take my workers back. Um, well, if I hadn't, turn. if I hadn't had to take my workers back, I would have done what you wanted. Steve turn. Steve turn. I see that. Now it's time for the Steve turn. Go to the cave. Tony turn. I'm gonna go to the cave. <laughs> Did you advance the thing? For my charter stone? Oh. Yes. You did? Okay. We have enough space. Oh, yeah. So you can get bread and then make bread. To oh, get oh bread. so those go, in, those go into the deck now because mm -hmm. he... Oh. Yep. So you can make five victory points and a get an influence token back if you if make you, bread. If you make bread. That's pretty cool. Um, that's ah, but you have to get expensive. the card. Yeah. You have to buy it and then you have to... Actually do it. Mm -hmm. It's amazing that produced goods... They're so difficult. Well, if I get the crafter out, it's only cost of wood. Yeah, it only costs of wood to get it, so it's cheaper. It's much mm -hmm. cheaper. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna go. So we need to help him get the crafter out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I gonna... need to unlock a crate, but I'm already on a path, and <laughs> you are on a path. Diverting it would. Uh... I know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, <laughs> like it's it's fairly obvious. Yeah. I think everything is fairly obvious so far. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of interconnected mm -hmm. things, but I just really focused on one thing. and that, uh, I need a dollar. That may or may not be a good thing. He did say focus on, you know, building buildings. Two. Your turn, Tony? Yeah. Oh, I have to actually pay the resource. Hmm. Um, I am going to... <laughs> I want to go. Let's go. We're going to go get a pumpkin. The card one confuses me. I'll get a uh, <laughs> The break. quota track for the cards? Yep, you just, like, if I had this item, I could discard it. Oh, so you can discard whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. Or the buildings, I imagine. Oh. People. Just not your personas. Yeah, people. That's how you would get people who already have names. Yeah. Is you discard people to... Oh, oh this is a persona. I need to get rid of this. Yeah. Um, I need to get rid of this. Is it me? No. Yes? Yes. Could you just yes. I just went. Yep. You need to get out of town for a couple days. Get rid of this. Get rid of the persona. Get rid of the persona. Okay. Um, my turn. I bump. When I think about you, I bump myself. Um. Do you saw my phone number? It's Another the break, same please. as it's always been. So text is same better than Facebook. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. Oh god, you two. <laughs> three. <laughs> is it we, me? Yes. We got all three of them out there too. <laughs> Good. Good job, everyone. <laughs> Good job, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go to the charter time. stone. Yay. And then I get a reputation. Alright. On the board. Uh, and then I pay two more. And you advanced. Yeah. Then I pay four money. Um, and you get five card, points. please. Which one are you doing? Ooh, oh, and I get five. Do forty. Points. Do forty. It's new rules. I'm proud and, and sad, bus. No, I really want to do two. Oh, boo. You're doing two? Yeah. Okay. I want to expand the uh, the, base. the coal economy. Drill, baby, drill. Although you don't drill for coal, do you? Mine. Mine for coal. And occasionally bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing the little dynamite can't help. Yeah, occasionally there are explosives involved. All right. I think Rex just texted me. Hey, it works! Your number is still the same as it's always been, too! All right. Miner is a persona <laughs> after using a building with a coal cost. Gain one VP. All right. 
Uh, and then the coal market is coal for two money, and then the hoist house is paying influence for a coal and a money. Nice. Oh, that's pretty good. Me? Yeah. All right. Or cloud porting. Two goods yep. for this, which will get me another five. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, that's that. Metric. Oh, and it moves this. No, it doesn't. I keep thinking this moves mm -hmm. it, and it doesn't. Um, I'm going to turn in that ore and these two bricks mm -hmm. to make this yeah. item. Oh, you don't have to spend an action for that. I don't you think just... so, because there's no action yeah, spot on the board. Yeah, so you just do it. That's cool. Gives me four points. Mm -hmm. And another one of these, which yep. gives me another point. Yep. Is that true? When it's completed on your turn. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Cool. Then discard the card. So, yep. Okay. Um, I am going <coughs> to go there and get some green. Take my lovelies back. All right. Grandstand. Yep. Going to go ahead and put one of these on the have three in the uh, quota. Yep. region and uh, that gets me five points Got it. and that moves that cool that's that thing so now maybe I can build one of these buildings mm. uh, I will go here to spend a green to gain a dollar and a reputation mm -hmm. Kavada. unfortunately I'm doing that's my own thing so I'm having to pick my guys up more often than yep. not I can see how that's a detriment. Uh, you're welcome. All right, my turn then. Yep. Yeah. All right, which of these do we want? Unfortunately, iron and grain are split. <laughs> did you move the thing for the grandson? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Steve got it. You got my points. Steve got yep. that. Stony Stony, all of us together. Tony Stony has a lot of points because of he's these. been going to the quota track, which gets him points. And the grindstone. Yes. Yeah. I have uh, an assistant, the broker, who gets me additional points when I go there, and then I've taken all of the spaces that give me points. Um, so I've just been focusing on earning points right now, which is not building my infrastructure up for the I'll future. Coin. I'm very confused because you bumped me, and then I didn't go, and then you bumped me? Oh, did I go twice in a row? Maybe? I assumed it came back around to me. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's hold off on that action for a second. Right? Because the last thing I did yeah. was go there. But yep. I had a dude there yeah, and I bumped still. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you went twice in a row. I did. Um, wow. Jeez. I just, it was so snappy that I So excited. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to the treasury. We don't even have Cheatin' John I shirts know. plan. Can, to, get can I get the yeah, coin? And then I also gain an influence back. Gimme. Whatever influence mm, token. There you go. Thank you. Right. So I need to figure out what I'm doing. Oh, but it's my turn, right? Yes. I know. Okay. I still need I'm to gonna, figure out what I'm uh, doing. I'm going to bump myself and get an iron. Alright, I'm... I don't think there's any way I'm going to get something built before the end of the game, but we will see. I don't know if it's going to make him super sad in game two. You want to go here? We'll find out. Did he have so many points? Hard. That he didn't build stuff? Well, I'm working on it now. Work? We'll see if I can do it before the end of the game. Now I... Now I, I don't think I can, but All we're right, going to so try. I have my last influence marker out. So, so John's just going to start progressing the game. Yes. So I'm hoping which is to, why I I'm don't hoping think to end I the game can, as quickly as possible. Which is why I don't think I'm going to get anything built. Because I need four resources and I need to go uh, to... That's what I'm trying to prevent. Is I, know. <laughs> I know. I know. Iron for too many. It's what I would do. Tony's turn. Yep. It's exactly what I would do. So I need to figure out where I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go here and get coal, which isn't going to be enough. Why, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, advance the progress track. Oh, yeah, because it's my turn. Yeah, he's yeah. out of And then I go there. I shouldn't be helping you, but whatever. Uh, can I have a gold and then put that there? Yeah, there's no way I'm going to do it. Alright, and then I will bump my- Ooh. I'm gonna be like one turn short. I will oop, bump, bump myself- out, yep. Bump myself again, pay an iron for two money. I'm gonna be like one turn short because I have to do this. Yep. 
Uh, advance the thing? I should have done the pumpkins first. Uh, I'm going Charter Stone in! Yay! So. Ooh, good timing, too. Uh, I get a rep. Uh-huh. Boop. Boop. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Um, and then these go to you. And you and get these. five. Yep. Yep. And then I'm going to open this one. 48. New rules! Uh, 33 asterisks. There are multiple ways to unlock this. Well, I just did it. All right. Um. Don't me to read them to you. Yeah, 33, and then what? 34. Okay. 118. She went to the charter stone, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We get a new tough treasury. box. And did we bump this? Yep. For Tiffany? In 332, uh, 333. 333. She took the action, but we didn't bump it. Okay, then Tiffany would get another reputation. I no, yeah. I told, I did. Yeah. She, she took the right. reputation. We yeah. just didn't move the okay. marker. That's why I'm not going to get to build. Three thirty two, and then three thirty three, and one eighteen. Yeah. Tuck box. You're so excited. I'm so excited. Uh-huh. I didn't get one eighteen yet. I'm excited too. Or did I? Are you though? Yeah, <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay, I did get that one, and then I need three thirty three. I think I'm still losing on reputation, but. Because of reputation, I think I'm still Okay, so the first thing I read is 33, and then I see the instructions, and then I gain 118 and 33. So I'll gain these two. And then the general supply gets that one, nothing, and then tuck boxes. Uh, extract Four. only one token type. Yep. So There's we'll find no out what that means. Okay, here we go. Minions! <gasps> the little ones. Due to the village's rapid expansion, extra help is needed. You recruit some minions from the area. Whenever a new type of minion is unlocked, the unlocking player gains one of those minions. Unclaimed minions of that type are kept on their reference card in the general supply. A minion is a type of worker that you may place only on unoccupied buildings in your charter. Oh, interesting. All cards that refer to workers apply to both regular workers and minions. Any player may place a regular worker on a building occupied by a minion. Unlike other workers, minions cannot be bumped. Mm. They stay on your building until you choose to retrieve them. Mm. All minions you control on and off the board are considered to be in your personal supply. So, I get the chef minion in the little hat. Whoa. Okay. Affix this sticker, which has five columns instead of six, to the bottom of the quota track on the game board, then place this card in the archive. Oh, so we're adding something for the quota, so now you can give up a turn minion. in minions. I have an adorable minion. Do we, do we pull out all of them or just one? Well, it says... Since it says I've I been only, get, of you only extract one, t- uh, one, one token type. type. And then it says that um, Where does that... unclaimed minions of that type are kept on their reference card in the general mm. supply. Oh, okay, so we do all of them. Oh, because there can be more chefs. So we can anyone can get a chef. Interesting. How do you get chefs? So this doesn't go all the way to the end. Uh, There's no the general three. Supply. We don't know yet. Maybe this building that I get. There it is, the bakery. Right there, ah! the bakery. <laughs> I haven't made it yet, but when you when you go to the bakery, you can spend two bucks to get a chef. Oh my gosh. A minion chef. All right, well, That's I know what I'm doing. So on we my have turn. a new type of thing. Oh, the chef's not available yet. But she has to build try. the bakery. I also no, I'm going gonna, gonna to do persona. my 40 and see if I get minions. I, I have the persona of being I'm a restaurant to tier. Dopamine, dopamine. Opening stuff. You okay. should open 40. All right, hang on. I need to put this roll should have. I should have built it. But now I have an extra worker. Yeah. Oh, but it can't. Somebody get off that stuff so I can use it. No. Damn it. All right. Um, our rule book is getting very full already. All right, Kairos. I am bumping you from Le Charter Stone. Oh, why, thank you. Which moves that. 40. Yep. Which means that I get one more turn. <laughs> right. Uh, so, yeah, uh, 40. Yeah. So I will pass it to so you. So I John. cannot uh, get two pumpkins. So that's four. Oh, Tiffany's out too, so two. this yeah. is going to be my last turn. And it's going to be getting people back. That sucks. Basically. <laughs> Well, I'll have one turn because yeah. All right. Um. Oh, mine will be getting pulled back. What? Too. What crit are you opening? Forty. Forty. Four zero. Thirty-three minions. Very so you do get a minion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, thirty-four. Thirty-four, minion. which is the same type of minion. We're can you can you burn minions? Three oh nine. Three oh nine. Maybe make fillet minion. Three oh nine is a various. So I don't. And then. Good oh. thing that I can do. You unlocked the robot. Uh, oh, hold on, and then you I get the robot uh, five minion. more points. As well. And then Steve gets 103. What does the robot do? Whenever I, don't, you, I don't know. Whenever you place a robot on, or an opponent uses your robot's building, gain one advancement card. Whoa. What? Whoa. Steve Damn. got the inventor. And I and I get a minion? And you get a robot. Um, and 310. Is in the general supply? What? No. When you retrieve workers, gain two VP if you retrieve at least two robots. Awesome. How do you know which robot's yours? Because you can only place minions in, in your, your charter. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. And the smithy. What was 34 again? It's this one, the minion quota that adds oh, the okay. give up minions. For oh! Minions. There's a new objective type that can come out. Does that need to stay? No, it doesn't. If you have at least three different types of minions. There's a new objective type for future content. games. Wow. All right, y'all need to build those minion buildings. Ah! Okay, so the smithy is how you build robots. Okay. Yep, makes sense. Cool. So that right. was your action. No, that was Steve. That was mine. That was Steve. So this is my last action, regardless. Uh -huh. Because you're going to take one, you're going to end and it. And then I yep. don't get one. You don't get another action. Um, Choose wisely. Is there anything that can get me points? Because if I can get one point, I think I can win. Because Tiffany's further on you in reputation track, so I mean, you would only get seven. We're so you're tied. tied. We're tied. We're both getting ten. To turn in like one resource. How are you on the tied? Quota? Five and five. Five and five. Oh, I thought it was distance, not quantity. Oh well, never mind then. Turn There's nothing in, like, I can do. Like one resource would get you three points, right? No, I have to turn in three resources to get one point. Oh, but oh, you get three points of using. Oh yeah, I guess I could there. get four points. Um, because this guy, whenever I use the cloud port, yeah, that's probably the best I can do. I would, is no, I can get bring four you points. The lead. I can get four points. Yeah. So, Thanks, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blind. Being helpful. It's the first I'm blind. Thing. <laughs> so we're gonna do one resource. Um, we're gonna get rid of the coal. No, we're gonna get rid of the steel. I don't know if I'm holding onto resources till next round. So that's four points. Yeah, four points. Cool. And, that's um, and, and then, then for my, my last turn. Yeah. Oh, did we advance the progress track for you? For his? No. Nope. Nope. Okay, and then we advance it for mine. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to... I'm going to send my minion to the field to get a thing. Um, and that's it. Well, uh... We probably don't... Do we keep resources? For we'll them? find out. Yeah. Don't we complete the round? That what? Finish the round. Yes. yes. And mm. I went first. That's oh. Right. So each of us get one more turn. So I thought she went last. me gets a turn. I thought she went last. Yep. Oh, well. Everybody but me gets Oh, I can place my minion. You can. Crap. It has to be in an unoccupied spot. So I can't bump myself. Nope, you yep. can't bump anyone. So the only thing I can do with the minion is go to the cave and get an iron. But you get one of these. Yeah, robot. Whenever, well, no, it's whenever you... Whenever you place an, a, a robot or an opponent uses your robot's building, gain one advancement card. So when you just use your robot, God, that's, you it's get so good. Broken. I'm going to go get a robot. <laughs> Steve needs to build the You can just not build, build the robot. After I use, and it's like, yeah. after I use the, the charter stone As somebody building, who created need, a game called Build the Robots, I'm really incentivized <laughs> to build the robot. What do you want? I you need want? the innovator because I have the inventor. That's after true. I use the charter stone building, gain 250 points. That's not yeah. bad. But these go back at the end of the game, right? No. We don't know. Well, probably. I assume you name it, but then we don't know yet. They have points on them. Mm. Uh, so I can't do the grandstand. I can't do that again. Oh, didn't I, I open? Can... I opened forty-eight. Yes. I can't bump the robot, which is a very interesting yeah. dynamic. Well, that would give him an advancement card, though. Right. But you're not allowed to bump. Yeah, what does it mean no. your ro your robot's building? Right, but if you yeah. use that building, you oh. get another The robot, card. the building that your robot's in. Yeah. yeah. So if Tony goes to that building, you get you another You get another But I thought it was you can't... Oh, the robot just doesn't get bumped. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. just... Ah, they just stay okay. there. Um, let me go... So, like, after the stream, you all want to play a second game? Yeah. I could get a money, or I could get... I don't know whether I keep anything for next round. You keep all your goods and money. Keep all goods and money? Yep. All right, so I'll go ahead and get a pumpkin so I can try and build early next game. 
I'm gonna give up the money. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I did yep. get three points. Mm-hmm. That is interesting in that it doesn't you it doesn't it, skew the end no. of the game by saying you would get you're gonna get stuff. four points, right? No, they, are they tied for second or first? Me and you? No, uh, Stephen. You guys are tied for They're first. Tied We're for tied second. for second. They're friendly oh. oh, it's friendly ties. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so it was. You're I thought it was gonna break. I guess by, so. I thought it was gonna break by distance, but I guess I not. thought so too. Okay. I thought distance mattered, and it doesn't. Here we go. In player order, gain victory points for reputation and cards with the in-game timer, which I don't think anybody has any yet. But for reputation, we gain those points now. So, 36, 31, 27, 25. Okay. Now, each player will gain glory based on their position on the victory point track, Mm -hmm. uh, which is this card. Glory is your primary measure of success in your quest for the Forever King to make you leader of the village. At the end of the game, gain one glory per ten victory point earned that game. Mark so those four. stars on yep. your charter chest. You choose which stars to fill in. Whoa! Because oh, when you fill them in, you get it. At thing. the beginning of each game, every completed row of glory points gains you the listed bonus. Each completed row? At the end of a game? No, at the oh. beginning Whoa. of each game. At the beginning of the next game, if your row is filled, you get that bonus. Row of glory gains you the listed bonus. And some of them we don't even know what they are. I can read them. The rainbow cube one is peril, apparently. Don't know. The dot? That will be removing it. Um, the dot is fill in one capacity on your charter chest. Oh, over here. Uh, is, so is it rounded down, the 10 points? I imagine so. I each, each 10 it's that you per have. 10, so yeah. yeah. So I'm guessing persona is the bottom one. Mm-hmm. Reputation, victory points, gold, and resources. I think I'll gain... I get four? Points. Okay, so there's the advantage of having lots of points. So I get two. Is filling these out quickly. And each star is worth 10 victory points at the end of the game. Yeah. Jesus. Or in the campaign. Okay. I don't feel well, so bad. So racing yes. for points is... It's yeah. so not bad. terrible, but it leaves me without an engine in the late game. So next game I'm going to basically have to focus on building shit. I think I'll be fine. I just <laughs> saw, like, victory points for both of those things, which both focused here like i just this yeah. was right here john yeah, it's right, it was right sitting here. right here <laughs> and I, I latched on to it play right. the second game on stream pretty pretty please <laughs> uh, uh we'll ask everybody um if they want to do it and we may or may not post it uh it depends i really want minions i know minions yeah. are great yeah yeah i'm really okay. torn the winner Cisco and the Arctic. Oh, I can use robots to build more robots. Yes. This is great. <laughs> yes, Steve can. is now the happiest kid in the universe. All right. The player with the most victory points, the players with the most victory points, marks the chest on nice. the back. So, Tony, the fill chest. in well, on your chest. Fill in one of the oh, trophies. One of the trophies. Then, everyone that didn't win gets to name their charter. Oh. And as a show of humility, each winning player must now, each winning charter will be named by the non winners. Huh. So, so we get to name, name my... Tony's, and we get to name, we get to name the, un, yeah. un, the inactive ones as well. Cool. So you guys get to name the charters while I figure out how to spend my stars. Yep. Mm-hmm. Of course, they're going to be upside down. Okay, and yeah, I have, a, I have a name. We're going to get all of our components. So all the cards that we have, any goods that we have left over, and our workers oh, and cool. minions so will carry get... over to game two. Cool. I think that's the only time that happens, though. I mean, that we know of. I what think I remember mean? Rodney saying something Do we get all of our influence back, or is it in the supply? I think you... No, you get it back. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Gather all of your player pieces. Okay. So I'm counting that in the... Yeah. In that. All right, we're just gonna go straight gold. We'll try and fill these out quickly because I'm crazy. And that will get you one gold every game. One gold yeah. at the beginning of every game. That's pretty good. Yeah. I wonder if that. I started. I started filling out minions so I could have. <laughs> yeah. Everybody else filled out minions. Hordes of minions. I oh, I didn't. You did oh, no. goods. I did goods because oh. I, I thought minions. that would help. Uh, yeah. Oh, it will. I thought about goods as well, but I decided to go gold because gold oh, hey, was Darryl. what I did this All time. Right. <gasps> Daryl! Um, okay. Uh, what do I want to name 
my 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 charter of like growing things. So Beth, to answer your question, because I get to keep everything that I had at the end of the game, it is not going to make me ultra sad. Because you have a lot. Yeah. So, oh, like, I have. So we got to keep all these things too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have you get all your 40 VP for the end of the campaign, plus 6 to 8 VP at the end of the campaign. Yeah. Um, She's got a lot of advancement cards. Yes, she does. A lot of buildings. A lot of buildings. I'm going to open all of these crates. I so. I brought back Charter Stove from Essen. I pre-ordered it and then had to wait in a line. That was hmm. stupid. And then, yeah. Was um, it a booth? or? It was the Matago booth, but the, the line was, like, around the booth. And then they had a pre-order line, which was much smaller, but to get to it, you had to like wait in line to go through the other line. It was, yeah, it was special. Can you write mine? Could you write it upside, up, right side up? Or Yeah, I can. Okay. I don't, we don't, do you know what you want on screen? You can also just get it over there. I know I could, but I'd be blocking oh. the camera and my butt would be in the camera. Oh no, babe, all of your stuff goes in your box. Yeah, no, I just haven't done that yet. But are we going okay. to do another I'm, game? I'm I was put, it says put it in the box. Okay. Put them in the box. Okay, fine. What's in the box? Put them in the box. What's, What's in the box? box? All of your player pieces and all the cards you picked up. Because it says uh, to put them in the put, box. And then but pass all, your box to the left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all seven of the things in your box, Tony. What's all, in the box? All seven of them. I pre-ordered, Daryl, I pre-ordered it like a week before I left for Essen. So pre-orders were open pretty late. Aw. What's in the I'm box? Are oh, you getting all fancy? Look at you. Can we name this one Trintopia? Because it is where cool. Cole. Cole. I'm, I'm, yeah. You guys you decide. No I get no say so, but well, that sounds I, great know. to me. Trintopia. I think Trintopia should, sounds really cool. This should be Aww. purple haze. Okay, I'm like behind the mic now, so. Perfect. Purple distracted. Trintopia. I was so distracted earning victory points, I didn't actually do anything. Trintopia. All right, now I have to name mine. It's so much more. It's so much more difficult when it's mine. Yeah. I like that the objectives are different every game. I'm gonna call it Agricola. Nice. <laughs> All right. I mean, I just named mine Fields of Iron. <laughs> Seems good. I'll be Shady Grove. You're gonna be Shady Grove. Oh, yep. I misheard that. Yeah. Shady I did too. <laughs> I'm not bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you get Here, points? Babe, can you give me the Agricola family edition? Oh. I'm going to copy that one. Uh -huh. My stars are all wonky. Because oh, I flipped it over. My stars. My stars are all wonky. Oh, my stars. stars. My and stars garters. Wonky. All right. Oh, my stars and garters. This is a weird font if you're trying to write it. I'm not trying to write it. Do that they, makes me happy. Do they all have to be uh, game themed now? Do we want to No, do just Let's Steve see. and I is I just I, oh, Trantopia I had... isn't really game themed. It kinda is though. I mean it, it kinda is. is. <laughs> it kinda is. You don't have to do what's, game uh, themed. What's their favorite month that they celebrate? Good thing I have lots of uh, inspiration over there. <laughs> do they have like Blood a... Rage, no. <laughs> the red. Blood region. Right. The Scoville region of Charterstone. <laughs> trying to think of red games. Can't stop. That's really red. But <laughs> you just can't stop going. It <laughs> doesn't make sense. I really can't. I mean, I went here over and over and over again. Oh, we have to name that one. Yeah. Right. Yep. You have to name yeah, red to name, uh... and purple. Red. So then if we could name it, okay. Rouge. Does any? Uh, oh, we have to name Tony's. Yes. Yep. We have to name Tony's. Yes, you have to have a purple and a red. Could we name Tony's uh, David's pumpkins? No, I liked purple haze. Purple haze. Oh, okay. It's That's not board game right. themed, but I know. I like purple haze. I just, I'm just throwing a vote out there for David's pumpkin. Anything Jimi Hendrix is a okay by the <laughs> oh, yeah. way. Because it's all pumpkins. It is all pumpkins. They're David's pumpkins. Yeah. David S. Pumpkins. No, David, pumpkins. you got the Jack punctuation pumpkins. wrong. It's David's Pumpkins. David's Pumpkins. That's not the name of his charter. No, now. I know. I like I like Purple Haze. Purple All right. Haze Halloween Purple Town. Haze. Halloween Town. I'd be down for Halloween Town, but it's technically <laughs> it's his. Not my decision. This is yeah. Halloween. This is Halloween. Done. 
What's this? What's this? It looks like a cloud port. It's just going to go over and over and over again. Uh, Smashing pumpkins. Daryl suggests Mm, smashing pumpkins. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, Yeah. that's a good one. I was going to say Caverna because there's pumpkins in Caverna. I like like purple haze, but... You you keep your mouth shut. I know, my filthy mouth. smashing, Smashing pumpkins is pretty great. Billy Corgan did buy the National Wrestling Alliance. <laughs> yes. The, wow. Um, He's a big wrestling fan. The pencil case for the Red He tried to buy TNA and couldn't, so he ended up buying the NWA, which has been kind of defunct for like 10 years now. Um, I don't know. John's going to name his. They took, all the, the one? they took all the funk out of it? Yeah. yeah. What do we name the red one? The red um, one. How about the red one? <laughs> yeah, the red one. What about right. the red one? I mean, we could just name it the red yeah, one. Yeah, name it the red one. Okay. The big red one. I'm just going to name it the red Wait, one. Traintopia wasn't with the black mark. I'm telling you. I guess that's because it's your mark. I'm telling you, it's the big red one. The big red one? Ooh. He doesn't have a say. I like the red one. I like the red one. What's the name of that charter? What? You mean the red one? Yeah, yeah. that's the one. <laughs> All right, and then are we doing purple haze for purple? Or what are we doing for purple? I like both Smashing Pumpkins and Purple Haze. I like Smashing Pumpkins a little I, bit more. I think I like, I like Smashing Pumpkins. All right, we're going to name it Smashing Pumpkins. It's also the inspiration for what I want to do with Tony's score by the end of the Oh, <laughs> man, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, whatever, I'll just build stuff and figure out the game. And then, <laughs> no. Tony's like, oh, just going to get 40 <laughs> points. <laughs> Sorry, I saw objectives. <laughs> and they, were, they lined up so perfectly. Yep. It was literally, oh, that objective wants me to have six hey, get money. Down. Get down. Six money will get me two things on there. There's three things on there as one of the other objectives. Right. And there's a person that gives me victory points for doing that? Yeah, we'll just do that. Just do Good all of it. All right. What do you get if you divide the circumference of a pumpkin by its di- diameter? The circumference of a pumpkin by its diameter. Pumpkin pie. Uh, it's pumpkin pie. Yeah. yeah. What did a jack-o'-lantern say to the pumpkin? What? Cut it out. Oh... Uh, you don't get a groan. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, I think this, this, uh, there's some spoilers, so we'll leave just spoiler dog up for just a second, and then I'll just remove these from frame, and then we can take spoiler dog down. I'm glad that uh, that Daryl uh, had some jokes for us there. Yeah. yeah. All right, I think we can take spoiler dog down. Dun dun dun. Da, da. And that was the first game Yay. of Charter Zone. No, no, it was Zena. That was fun. That was fun. Yes. Yeah. I enjoyed that. That was, yeah, yeah. that was good. I'm excited to play more. And I yeah. think we're going to play a second game because I think 10 o'clock is the pumpkin hour yeah. for everybody. We can get it. I mean, we, we should ask the purple game. player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when is your yeah. pumpkin clock? Yeah, we can totally do that. Okay. So I think we're going to play another game, but we're going to try and talk about it um, without spoilers. So... The first game was very super straightforward, very oh, yeah. basic. Mm-hmm. Very light. Mm-hmm. I feel like most of the game was just reading mm-hmm. rules. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, it wasn't until we actively started doing things that things got unlocked, which were really cool. Mm-hmm. And then we were like, unlock more! I know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just want to like unlock everything. Yes, yeah. exactly. Like the quest to unlock things. Yeah. But there is a game here where you score points. Sure. sure. Yeah. I focused way too much on one and didn't <laughs> didn't focus on the other. But you can take advantage. Like when other people unlock stuff, often it right. puts things out. Oh, front absolutely. Of so like, it's like you don't. Have you made to an yourself. engine. You made an engine. Uh, you made an engine. Like. Yep. Yeah, all yeah. of them. All of them were things that I still got to take advantage of, and because of the bumping workers out, mm-hmm. uh, <coughs> you were incentivized to do things that you thought other people would want to do. Yeah. So, yeah. Just always a nice mechanic. Yes, mm-hmm. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I like how spaces are going to come out somewhat slowly. I think in the colonists, it feels a little overwhelming. Not necessarily in a bad way, but there's yeah. like a lot of spaces as you move through the ages, and it can get a little overwhelming. Yeah. And this, it feels like they're going to possibly come out well, it's interesting. in I mean, a way that we can keep up with I don't it. know how it's going to work, but having less players means less spots to go to. Yeah. That's true. Because you're mm-hmm. not going to be filling up the empty spots. Yeah, yeah. and that's, that's a nice... That's a yeah, nice I was balance. a jerk. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this well, empty spot. Right yeah. It also makes it so that because we have less spots, we're more likely to bump each other, which mm-hmm. means we'll get our workers back, yep. Yep. which is helpful. So there's less rounds we're covering. This yeah. is a worker placement game. I can't remember if that was pre or post spoiler. Yeah. Um, you only have two workers for now, and then whenever one is bumped, you get it back. But, um, yeah. Yeah, it's I, so straightforward. Oh yeah, it's surprisingly straightforward. Like I feel like you could almost play this with a casual at this point. Yep, like easily, and yeah. the art is super casual friendly. Mm-hmm. So, and it was super easy to get into. Like the, I think the fact that there isn't a giant teach of every mechanic yes. to start would make right. it maybe a little easier to play with. And I think the graphic design, casual. like, actually really aids in digesting what every new thing does really mm-hmm. quickly. Mm-hmm. Like having costs on one side and yep. output yeah. on the other, very very clearly delineates where everything goes. Right. Yeah. Um, and the icons are super consistent. Yes. Like there's no super, ambiguity. Yeah. Super and, uh, consistent. The cards and the and if you see a new icon, it's because it's a new thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's very, uh, very clear what everything is. Yeah. Um, um, but it seems like it'll scale really well with the player count because the length with the progress gets the timer longer, is, yep. gets longer with more players. There'll be more spots with more players. Yep. yep. Um, so possibly the game length would go up if we had two more players, but I think that's fine. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't, know if, I don't think it would much. go up a lot. I don't think it would, uh, just because of how quickly people would be able to go to stuff. Yeah. Like, you would get bumped maybe a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, we, it kind of just depends. And turns are quick. We, yeah, they are. Yeah. We all started the first game with the ability to do cool stuff right out the gate, and it basically fed everything. Um, and I think that... I think that at the very least in the first game, it wouldn't go much longer with more players, just yeah. because... The cool stuff that you do advances the progress mm-hmm. of the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Unless everyone is unlocking stuff, and then it's kind of... Yeah, then you're time. reading, but yep. yeah. yeah. And there wasn't that much in the first game. Right. So. Um, yeah. I feel like I was a little rushed this game by some people. Uh, there was more that I wanted to do and explore. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there was more I wanted to build with my engine, and Tony was like, nope. Uh, Tony was John, like, no, you John. two were the ones who ended the game. Yeah, it was me and you. It was, well, I <laughs> only started doing it because Tony was getting so many points. Yeah. And I was like, I guess I have to end this now. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I can't, I can't think of anything else more to say that isn't at least somewhat spoilerly. So I think I'll just leave it with, uh, I feel like this game as it stands right now after game one is what I would say accessible. I feel at this point in time, it is a good medium weight game that you could play with people that aren't necessarily gamers. Um, Because of the way the rules are written, um, there's a lot of reading in game one. So you just have to have a group that's like cool with that. But it's really simple reading and you can pass the cards, which makes it easier. Mm -hmm. Um, And then number two is they actually recommend that only one player read the rule book before the game starts or watch the watch it play video. So if you're watching this video to this point, you are probably going to be that one person who, if you do end up playing Charter Stone with a group, would be the person that reads the rules and or watches the Watch It Play video, which you should watch. Link down below on the doobly doo or up there, up there, up there. If you're watching this, right. not live. Um, I think knowing what you know if you watch the whole video wouldn't give you any it, yeah. much advantage over mm-hmm. anyone else. I, yeah. It's more helping you facilitate, it sounds yeah. like. If you watched this video in its entirety and then went and played Charter Stone with some, some casuals that don't really game, you might have an advantage. Just because you now understand the significance of victory points. So there's True. that. Yeah. But I'm trying not to spoil things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. I, I think it helped the game maybe move a little quicker in the sense that they didn't tell us, you know, the importance of victory point or Don't go too spoiling. Okay. But I just mean like we weren't as focused on like min maxing this individual mm-hmm. game. Yes. I think. There were some things that we weren't focused on, and then things happened, and we were like, ah, we should have focused on that. That's true. Uh, All of us had that. Yeah, and I yeah, think that's part of Yeah, but everybody focused on different yeah. things. Mm-hmm. So each of us did focus on different things yeah. yep. in this game, which I think is really great for a uh, playing experience. Um, so yeah, and if you are curious, you can go back and watch the stream to see this. Yeah, I'd say my non-spoilery thing is that I didn't get to do everything I wanted in game one, so I really want to play game two. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. genuinely yeah, that's, that's want to I play want. game two. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's a good thing to have in a legacy game, that yeah. 
you know, we just finished and now I want to go again. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's also the whole thing with legacy games. Um, Steve and I and Tony have bad reputations. Do you have a legacy game? I've never played legacy games. This is his first! It's my first one. Um, but Steve and I are up, really bad about playing... Our legacy game, we played 11 games of Pandemic Legacy over two years, uh, and we just played the 11th game last night, so there's that. Um, but this game will be done in 12 years, in 12 games, in 12 years. 12 years. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Once a year, yeah. after Thanksgiving, That's right. we will meet. We'll, just, we'll do a time lapse of everybody, like, we'll getting meet more gray and longer beards. That would be a beers. great reoccurring stream thing, though. We will meet but in 12 other... years, it would be like a VR thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they come and we'll sit with us at the table. The like, right. we'll all be virtual. Yeah. yeah. That's right. We'll have the, the, the robot Tony. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I will actually have downloaded my consciousness into a robot. Robot body, yeah. and you will live inside a Charlie yes, Stone. yes, yeah. exactly. That's right. We'll get you. I don't know. Charged. It looks like a pretty cool place to live. Sure. Yeah. They've got like steampunk and all sorts of like. There's the plenty art's of food. really cute. It is. The art's really yeah. cute. Tony like pulled out a building. He didn't build it yet, but I was like, ah, and I yes. regret not playing his color, even though I wouldn't play yeah. his color because it's, it's yeah. Uh, and I'm I'm absolutely desperate to build that building now. It's so Not cute. just because of the artwork, but because they gave it a really cool ability too. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, it's it's um So far we're all really digging it. We're really looking for for game two. I went into this not with much expectations, except for the fact that Jamie Stegmeyer games tend to be a hit or a very far miss for me. I really enjoy Viticulture. I enjoyed uh, Euphoria for two games, and then I just couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> um, and Scythe, I just can't stand. So there's that. Um, what else has he put out? Between Two Cities? Between Two Cities, I didn't even bother. Um, because I heard the two-player wasn't great. Yeah. So if, if it doesn't play well two-player, I just... Yeah. But, um, but I think with this, it seems I know it's just the first game, but at least with the I'm accessibility, it, it seems like with the accessibility and the type of actions, and because it is worker placement, it does remind me of Viticulture, or at least I would yeah. put it kind of adjacent. I mean, a little bit. Just in this, I feel like, this is easier. So I far. know. I think so oh, far absolutely. it's easier, um, and I think it might get more complex. And I think because yeah, there isn't mm -hmm. a whole deck of cards with abilities that have text on them, I would say this is probably even easier to pick up or less oh what happens when that card interacts with this mm. rule yeah i could definitely uh, see people getting this for christmas sitting down with their families that might be somewhat game inclined and like just knocking this out before new year's yeah just so entirely like get snowed in in a cabin and just or, play all, all or just games. say it's snowed in even though you live in florida something like that yeah, yeah. <laughs> um cool awesome yeah it'll be interesting to see how uh whether the games vary in length or whether they stay at about the same input, mm -hmm. um, that's one thing that I'm interested in. If they stay about the same length all the way through, uh, I think it'll be really easy to digest as you go along. You know what I just realized? So you play this game 12 times, and then you can continue playing the game on the board that you made as a group, like, forever. Like, it's still playable in that state. And then the other side is blank, and you buy the recharge pack, and then you can play again and make another board. And I just realized the recharge pack is mostly just cards mm -hmm. with stickers. And so I realized you could, in theory, have two very different That'd be cool. games sitting around, depending on who got what, depending yeah. on yeah, depending on who you played with and when you played it. So Steve and I could even like. You know, could have concurrent games going on. We could, we could be playing this four-player game with, with these you, people, and yeah. we also could get the recharge back, and yeah, we could you, be playing a two-player game at the same time. You just need to mark which side of the board was for which. And yeah, there is a banner here. I don't know if mm. that will be used at any point. It I'm assuming will, so, yeah. but you could definitely right. mark each side so it's when easy can, to tell which is which. See by the names, yeah, right? the names would also. So if you wanted to play with more people, or if you wanted to play multiple, like. If you had the situation where, like, you were playing with a group and you got so far and then you sold out, you could get the recharge pack and then go back and play with a different group. And it does have a solo version. So yeah. you could just play it solo on one side of the board if you wanted with... Yeah. Uh, the oh, Between Two was awesome. designed by Jamie. It was just published. Right. Correct. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah, the recharge is pretty clever and I didn't pick it up because I was like, ah, we probably won't play it again. And now I'm going, maybe I should pre-order that. So maybe I'll pre-order that. Better than the other way around. I think you get the recharge pack and we play the first game and we're just like, 
Uh, Do we want to buy a recharge pack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Lately it is a neat concept, though. The recharge pack is yeah. a really clever idea. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think it, it speaks to that um, criticism or quote Chris like pandemic which is just like what if I want to do it again you know yeah, and, and it's just copy. like well okay if you want to play it a second just, time that's, that's our your pandemic option. board I just I don't know how we we're, we're in early September and I just don't know how we're gonna make it to, to the end of the year anyway that's spoilers for a different game. You're going to lose six six games in a row. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, on that note, we are done. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Um, join us on... Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Join tomorrow. us Thursday. Steve and I are going to be playing two-player games of Essence. We're basically just going to play as many as we can. We're going to be playing Zularoto Duel, um, Shadows Over Kyoto, and something else I picked up that's two player only that isn't Carcassonne. <laughs> um, and probably Topiary because we haven't played Topiary yet. Those are the three that I'm hoping I to play. I would love to play Tybor. That's not two player only. It's not two player. Oh, yeah. I, we need to play it before because the rules are apparently not amazing. Okay. Um, I read the rules for that. We can play with John. Yeah. Um, okay, so tune in tomorrow if you'd like to watch other stuff. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Thank you, John and Tony, for being yeah. here. Yeah, pleasure. Thank and you. And we'll see y'all later. And no, I don't think we're going to stream the second game, because I, w I just sort of want to hang out with my friends and be able to say whatever I want to say without the internet recording it or watching it. Yeah. So, sorry. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a rest of the night that is fun and enjoyable. And we'll see you tomorrow. Night, internet! Good night, internet! Good night, internet! Good night, internet.